Welcome back, Andrew Kalura. Thank you. I'm here for the high stakes <laughs> poker game tomorrow evening. High stakes poke her game. Poke her. So we're having a poker game. Sounds like a Freudian slip to me. <laughs> hey, it's all natural, like the girl at Walgreens said, the Haitian girl. It's a natural part of life. <laughs> Hopefully it is in the future. How was your flight into Alberto? Alberto. Coming, coming down here. Oh, <clears throat> little bumps here and there, but otherwise very smooth, quick. It's good. You believe the governor called it a state of emergency? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Cookie cutter. So far, Andrew and I are eating crow. Uh, Lou's positive thinking's out doing our, our cynicism. <laughs> I'm here. I got here in one piece. Good weather. It was sunny today. Don't forget me. I mean, yeah. he hit the nail on the head with me. You know, can't be thinking about stuff like that. You got to be busy like yep. Lou. Taking on different projects, not afraid to fail. I guess the two years of wisdom I have on you, Lenny, is sufficient enough to know. Oh, it's more than that. <laughs> Your life experiences. Yeah. I think unless yeah, because I've been through a lot of shit, you know. I mean, when you can't talk the talk unless you walk the walk. That's it. How's that song go? My misery is self. My misery is self chosen. The uh, Alice in Chains. Yeah, Alice in yeah, Chains. yeah. yeah. That's what, you know, that's a good song. <laughs> yeah, you know, how I choose to feel is how I am. Yeah, that's the truth. Yeah. How you feeling, Lenny? You optimistic? Yeah, after that workout, one workout in almost three weeks, helped Getting a lot. Up. Fucking endorphins firing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And I feel so much better, too, reducing the dosages. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, good. What, we, what, what did you reduce? What were you on? It was the Diana Ball. Using that 150 milligrams a day, taking three a day. And Jeez. getting off the blood thinners and almost, I couldn't even get up and walk 10 feet without feeling like I'm going to fall over and, and that just yeah, exhausted. I, I heard you, you like, you, you, you shouldn't cut those. I mean, I heard there's like a protocol coming off those Blood thinners? Yeah. yeah, that's what I said. You yeah, just, you're the one not, told me. You're the one, one thing you don't want to stop cold turkey, but here he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's been, you know, that's, yeah. why, that's probably part of the reason why he was, you know, in bed for the last couple of weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, that sleep it healed me up and ready to roll, ready to put on size, not killing my appetite, listening to wisdom. You listen to people that walk the walk. Anytime you see somebody online, you got to look at their credentials as far as that's you want to be. You know, I mean, Dave Palumbo, you, you know, it's not going to steer you wrong. He's been there. I, uh, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm tired and I'm fried. And... You had a long day yesterday, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I woke up Friday morning and finally went to bed last night at nine o'clock. I mean, Jeez. <laughs> ten o'clock. But um, you know, Lenny, and it, 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 you just and it, this is the stuff I, I try to enforce through the text messages. And you know, you have a lot to offer, Lenny. You really, really do, man. You 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 have a lot to offer, and you know, you just gotta you know step out of the fear and believe it's gonna happen. And you got to just start doing it, man. And and once you start doing shit, shit, I mean, it just starts happening. It'll just start happening, man. That's how everything has been in my life. You know what I mean? Every job I've ever taken, you know, I've never done this before. And they tell me just to do this. And I just keep doing it. And I keep doing it. And I keep doing it. And I get better at it. And I get better at it. And I get better I'm at sure it. I'm sure people have told you, oh, you'll never make it. Or yeah, that's of not course. All that stuff. I mean, my mother told me to go kill myself one time. What? You know, go, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even. I remember in, when you told me. I wasn't that. even in her. I wasn't even getting high at the time. I had really, really bad depression. And I wasn't getting out of bed. Yeah. You know, and she, she thought I was using again. And, you know, she just came into my condo and she goes, why don't you just kill yourself and get it over with so we don't have to deal with this? Typical you know? Italian mother. My mom's the same way. <laughs> Typical. Yeah. So it's, it's just so like, fun, fun, man. You know, it's a loving mom, right? You know? <laughs> but my mom loves me to death. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. But, I, mean, I put my parents through hell. You know, I really did, you know, with my, 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 aunt, you know, I thought she was actions. a Polish mom. Yeah. Yeah. She is Polish. Oh, she? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's As is my mom. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. Same, same vicinity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, yeah, they're both yeah. my parents are crazy. I mean, the nationality doesn't. But they're together. Yeah, 50, well, it'll be 50. All the gentlemen here, your parents are together, which is a good thing. As is Brad. You know? Yeah, yeah, my parents just had their 48th anniversary a couple weeks ago. How long have you been parents? Now? 67. So. Holy shit. Be 51 years this year. Whoa. Oh, 51 years. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. And they look young. Well, they're we're living in different times with the Americans, so. Americans. I never heard that before. I like it. Not you got to do what John Cena did and draw up a 75 page uh, prenuptial agreement beforehand nowadays if you got any anything of value. <laughs> Even if you don't, it's risky. Not only do you have to get a prenup, but what people are now doing is 
they're videotaping the signing of the prenup yeah. because if they don't do that there have been cases where the woman says well i signed it under pressure mm -hmm. i wasn't of sound mind i was medicated yeah, of so, course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. now they sit at a table with their lawyers and they videotape themselves signing the prenups so that it cannot be contested in court at all so, so gotta cover all your bases so so talking about video <laughs> all right maniacs <laughs> we're really 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 considering putting lenny into porn I'm talking like it sort of already happened. Well, but, but we're, we're talking <laughs> legitimate, you know, produced pornography. You know, can we call it another term besides that cookie cutter term? Okay, what, you, you, tell us the term, Lenny. Well, what what would you like to call it, Lenny? Yeah. Let's call it Lenny's Lenny's sexual fantasies come to life. <laughs> okay, Lenny's sexual fantasies. True come life to life. sexual fantasies. True life sexual fantasies. But there's going to be a catch to it. it, it you know. It's going to cost a little bit of money. So I just wanted to see how you guys felt or thought about that because, you know, hiring porn stars, official girls that, you know, make videos and being on into a studio and having it produced and, and, and filmed properly and, and all that stuff, it's not going to be free. So for the for the misfits to do that so we just i just wanted to see put a take on the misfits and see how they feel about that but they're probably not, they're going to say that they don't want to pay but i know that they do because thirty thousand of you sick fuckers blocks money believe me the stuff that we do is going to be a whole lot better than lenny eating ass <laughs> did you give the maniacs a ballpark figure what they're looking at i don't know i'm thinking maybe 3.99 to view it and yes we're going to have we're going to have capture block where soft software on it so people can't steal it and download it and do all that stuff we're gonna have the best, you know. You hear that, Gail? Capture ball. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if they can capture it, we can block it. So, don't get any wise ideas, Dale, from your conv convalescent center now, buddy. <laughs> you got plenty of time to, to think of a uh, scheme in there and the little rooms you're in, buddy. <laughs> But I think, you know, a girl shoving a dildo up Lenny's ass and kicking him in the balls and <laughs> spitting in his face would be Yeah, that's a baby bird concept. <laughs> Massive baby bird porn where they're just chewing gluttonous amounts of food. It's always fantasized. Hey, you can get, how about this, six, ten or obese black women <laughs> and just chew food and spit it on my throat. <laughs> I wonder what the, wonder what the I wonder what the the maniacs would want. You think they want you to go back to training work? Whatever they want. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we're putting in requests now for Lenny's porn. Yeah, <laughs> or excuse me, Lenny's sexual yeah, fantasies right, come to yeah, life. That's right. right. <laughs> well, S and M and dominatrix stuff would be very popular in Europe. They love that stuff over there. Mm -hmm. Very much into it. We've got a couple of dominatrix already lined up, ready to go. And I'm sure they like to see me on the other end, maybe dishing out a little bit too. So many. Well, you either got to play one position or the other. You got to be submissive or dominate dominatrix. You can't like you can't be a domin. You can't be make the dominatrix become a submissive. She has to stay dominatrix. The whole that's how it works. Yeah, I mean yeah, the different no segments. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Different roles with different right. people. You can be maybe a dominant and yeah, see how it goes. Get some little girl that, like what's that girl? Uh, Emma. Maybe she'd be a good submissive. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the limit? <laughs> I never got to meet her. I see M as more of a dominatrix type than yeah. submissive. You know, if we if find a fitness. Yeah. Usually there. So Lenny, what are you thinking about tomorrow? Thinking about making some good mens after ending the men drought and you know, Andrew's down here and things couldn't have been happening at a better time. I mean, Andrew always brings some positivity to the situation. Getting all the guys together, Jay Masters, Andrew. And from this point on, I'll be known to the misfits as Meow Man. <laughs> That's my new moniker. No more straight strength. It's yeah. straight up Meow Man. <laughs> you got too many Andrews around here. You got that Coach Chuck Andrew, the Cat Abandoner. <laughs> Who's afraid to come on this show. That's right. To face the music. Where the hell did Jake disappear to? Today? Who? Jake. Yeah, I haven't heard from him know. in hours. Yeah. His phone's going to be ringing soon if he knows there's a podcast going on. Might be on a bender no, he, somewhere. He, he knew about it. Oh, he did? You could have picked him up, couldn't That's you? That's right. I sent the text. I yeah. said, hey, yeah, we'll I never back. Back. Huh. he was at his fucking truck. He had his truck at the, I think at the gym. Yes. I think he's trying to, like, carefully map out his grand <coughs> meeting of Calora, you know? like What were you saying earlier? He wants to do it at the gym tomorrow. What about Jay? Yeah. Yeah, he should let me. Uh, he should charge me rent if I'm reliving his ha in his head 24 <laughs> seven. Changes his whole stack and his uh, routine just because I come into town. <laughs> so I, I pull up to the airport today and I'm looking for for Andrew, meow man, and he, and he gets into my truck. And the first thing I say is like, 
Oh, you cut your beard. No more terrorist. Huh? He, he, looks, he looks presentable. Repre- he's represented the house well, you know. I mean, he's cleaned it up a little bit. Yeah, he looks a lot he's better. Like, he looks yeah, got, healthier, better skin tone. He's like, yeah, I got to look look good for these girls. I go, you don't got to look good for these girls. They're fucking giving it up anyway. That was fuck? music to my ears, people. That I don't have to look good for these girls. I'm, I'm sure when they take a look at some of these men we have here, it's going to be, they're going to be like, we should be paying them, you know. <laughs> How much weight have you gained since you were last year? 20, 25 pounds. Solid. Yeah. You can see it. It's just starting to fill back out for sure. Shoulders yeah. looking. Mom, you was doing chins and everything after rows. I saw the video. I saw the video. And I, I couldn't even move that fast. I couldn't lift the weight. Never mind. Like, I couldn't, like, I get off a machine. I have to fucking take about a, you know, it's just like shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm like, I wish I could just move how he was moving. Fuck. Yeah. He's like like free, thankfully. That's insane. But you want PBC? Then what the fuck do you want PBC for? <laughs> My right hip's been... Uh, yeah, your hip. I've been working through it, but I mean, it's like a bursitis. So in your uh, opinion, the PBC's for real? Hmm? The PBC. BPC? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it does work. I mean, Luke can attest to that. With the- oh, yeah, that's it. That's, that's the miracle stuff. Yeah. But, um, so we have two porn stars coming tomorrow, which will be players that will be named later because we don't want no trolls going out there and, mm-hmm. you know, pulling no bullshit. Troll shit. And that's going to be pretty entertaining. One promises, or both actually, actually both promise to fuck Lenny with a strap on. What do you think we'll be able to capture tomorrow and, and display for the uh, <laughs> for the fans? We're going to find out. It's all going to be PG-13, though, because it's going to go on YouTube, yeah. right? The good stuff will be saved for the Misfit porn site. Yep. There you go. Oh, excuse me. Misfit Lenny. What is yeah, it? Sexual Lenny's fantasy. Sexual fantasy <laughs> fulfillment? <laughs> Sexual fantasy reality. How many people got the balls to do it? Put their private side out there, risking this, risking that. I'll do it. I know you will. You know, you WWE turned me down. That's your loss. They're going to be begging me to come back real soon. I mean, the girls are static. They want your audience. I mean, do they know me? Have they seen me? Of course. I saw them videos. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, they're probably. I mean, and they're, they're just, you know, they're, they just, they, they see like you and a quarter million hits, 250,000 hits. They're like, fuck, that's going to help build my, my following, you know? And, well, they better like chewing because like, I know what to do with those leftovers. I'm into that baby bird stuff because <laughs> it helps with your bodybuilding so you don't have to chew. You can yeah. get those meals in where all the other cookie cutters will throw shit in a blender i'm getting a baby bird <laughs> yeah man's in town <laughs> come on I'm over jealous yeah, you let uh, tranny nate's girl pat you and you're running away from me so so talking about meow man he still has the fucking tooth mark in his arm from fucking Kiara when, when oh, she shit, bit him. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's it's weird. It's like a stigmata. As soon as I came back in town, the bruise reappeared from three months ago. <laughs> Kiara it's just the thought like of Kiara's porn bite. Star. <laughs> Kiara, is, <laughs> Kiara is actually a name in um, The Lion King. We have Kiara and Nala. They're both names in The Lion King. <laughs> I remember when I was a teen, I used to, oh, to run one out to Kiana's Flex Appeal on ESPN, that Hawaiian lady in the yeah. exercise show. Oh, was that her? Was that Kiana's yeah, Flex Kiana, Appeal. That was yeah, Kiana. Kiana. Yeah, yeah, Body yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know Carla Dunlap from that show yeah, yeah. at our LA Fitness in Delray I, first thing in the morning. I actually this is this is book material, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna give this story out. So, Me and my buddy John Matthias. Um whoops. <laughs> Brad's not here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Lenny, stop saying names. <laughs> Anyways, so John, John's like John had a buddy that owned um I don't remember the bikini line, a bikini line up in Daytona, and they were. You remember the show? Is there this little show E or Entertainment or whatever channel? Yeah, no, it was a T. It was a oh. TV show that Entertainment. Ent- e. Entertainment Tonight. Yeah, Entertainment yeah, yeah, Tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, they were filming all the fitness, like all the fitness girls doing the bikini shoot with this guy's clothing line, and I don't know why that why they were doing it or whatever, you know. Um, Amy Fadlia and girls like that, you know, oh, yeah. were there. Yeah. So I, I went up there. We went up there, and um, John and I took my 300 ZX Twin Turbo up there, and uh, I met this. I, I ended up hanging out with this girl. Her name was Tony. She eventually gave, she was like a little tiny spinner. She was like a gymnast, but she was really muscular, and um, whatever. So, and anyways, I'm. Uh, where I'm going with the story is I ended up hanging out with Tony. I fucked Tony. I tried to fuck Tony, and her pussy was so tight I couldn't fuck her on the on the beach. So I went up there another time and fucked her. But anyways, she was gonna be on. She was on the show, and she wanted me to go to Hawaii with her to, to, 
to go to be on that show. <laughs> Imagine I, that, Lou. I had a girlfriend. Show. I had I was living with my girlfriend <laughs> at the time. A young Lou <laughs> on the beach in Hawaii. <laughs> I could. And look what your cookie cutter girlfriend cost you. <laughs> you don't even think about. It wasn't a famous, you know who was it at the time. She cost me a violation of probation and fucking had my ass thrown in jail. That's what she fucking cost me. Uh, that versus being on the yeah. iconic show. Yeah. Yeah, with Keanu Tom. Fuck. We yeah. could all kick ourselves over missed opportunities, yep. I tell you what. Yeah. But that funny, that Tony Bola, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Tony girl, when I went up and saw her the second time, because the first time I told her my car, 300 ZX, I was talking about in a high speed pursuit, which will be in the book. But um, <laughs> the second time I went up there, man, we tore it up. We tore it up. And, you know, we, I went, she was. I got up there, and it's like all dudes and her, and I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck's going on here? Man? I, you know, I was like, kind of feeling like a little weird, you know. And then we were out, like every guy was hitting on her. And I just sat back, you know, and didn't, you know, give her, let her, I let her, you know, do her thing. Cause I knew she, she didn't have me to fucking come up there, not the fuck her, you know what I mean? And she said when we got back to her, her, uh, when we got back to the house that they were standing, and she's like. She's like really turned me on how you let me do my thing and didn't like get jealous or act like that. I was like, well, what do you want? <laughs> you know what I mean? I just like, I'm not going to be like a little baby. You're not my girlfriend. I don't know what do you think, you know? So we ended up, damn, man, I just, I, I can remember that night we were shooting New Bane. I was probably <laughs> in ecstasy. I don't know if I brought the what's, what's the New Bane feeling like? Just like a heavy opiate type yeah, effect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that stuff is devil. Yeah, yeah a lot of guys got hooked oh, on that. Yeah, that stuff is bad. It tears your kidneys up. Oh, I, 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 that stuff had me in his grip for a while at one point. But yeah, we ended up fucking like rabbits that whole night long. Like, <laughs> we started fucking at night and went to daylight, you know, one of those type of things, you know. Must be nice, yeah. But anyway, she ended up going into the porn industry too. Kind of funny. So Lenny, I wanted to ask you, I don't think we've, we've talked about this, but have you followed, I know this is kind of old news at this point, but Lou and I were talking about it before you guys got here. All of the size Cali Muscle has lost, and he's done a couple of videos about it. Have yeah. you been following that? I saw it, and goodbye, Cali Muscle. End of your career. <laughs> he basically, what, came clean to admitting a whole bunch of, using a bunch of stuff after claiming Natty? Am I That's even double that? worse, yeah. Anybody that ever believed that guy was Natty, you need to get your head examined. Looking like that. Anybody that ever buy his supplements needs to get your head examined. And watch his channel for more than... I mean, nobody talk about a rant of stupidity. He brags about his book. Lou's book's going to blow his away in yeah. sales, right, Lou? Prison. How hard is it to get locked up in prison? Yeah. You just, it, to me, you get, you get locked up for those reasons. You're an idiot and a coward. You're looking for the easy way out. What do you do, or muggle old ladies? Criminal. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Grab old ladies' purses. <laughs> Probably something stupid, yeah. Yeah, I don't like motherfuckers that person acts. That shit's fucking. I don't like guys that brag about their time in prison, saying it's that's why they're tough, and it's it's really you're not. Yeah, I had a cousin actually that did that up in New York, but he was hooked on drugs, and it unfortunately did that. The lowest of low, mugging old ladies, got his ass beat first couple of nights in uh, Rikers Island. But to this day, he's very successful. He turned his life around, patched things up with his parents. He's it takes married a good with kids. Ass yeah, fucking. that's what he needed. That's you know. what I need tomorrow. I hate to say it. It's a good ass rape. That, that, that's what they should do with all of these school shooters, these people who shoot up high schools and students. Yeah. Well, just throw them in general population and just turn around. The creep the kid getting contacted by women. Yes, the creep from the, the Douglas shooting. Actually, women are crazy Texas. about it. Right. You believe that Texas shit? was oh, aware yeah. of that now. Yeah, yeah. There, there was another one. There's yeah. copycats. He's getting love letters. Yeah, love letters. Probably hot looking girls that I couldn't even get. <laughs> yeah, it is. Look at Charles Manson. He gets the same treatment for him. He's getting treated better than me. Yeah. General population. Two words. That's all you got to do with him. How about, why don't they use subcontract a Brazilian prison for these types of people? How's that? I wouldn't fucking live, bro. I had a buddy that was in, look, I had a buddy that, that was back in the day that I used to be business associates with. And he was Cuban and he went with two white American girls to Caracas, you know, to pick up, you know. Venezuela. Yeah, Caracas, Venezuela, Caracas, Venezuela, um, to pick up, you know, juice, cocaine, whatever. Well, they got busted on the fucking going on the plane, not even coming off the plane because the girl fucking did a shot of cocaine. She was out of her mind. They, she ran off the plane while they're boarding the plane because she was all fucked up. They ended up finding, you know, they're looking at her. They realized. So anyway, they, they spent um, a year in Caracas. The girls got fucked every day by different fucking guards. Um, 
The guy was like was stabbed numerous times while he was there, and he spoke Spanish. He was Cuban. You know what I mean? They didn't give a fuck, man. They have dirt floors. No, so the guy know? that reminds me of the guy in the news. He's from Utah. He spent two years there. Trump got him out. He got married to a Venezuelan girl. They locked him up for I forgot what. He lost fifty pounds. He said it was hell on earth in there. Yeah. He said demons stalked the hallway. Check out the new footage on the YNC or best score. The Brazilian prisoner getting beat on his shin with an iron ah. bar over and over again while they stretched him out and watched the oh. thing turn colors. They were smashing him shitless. And they covered his mouth up so you couldn't hear the screams. Who was doing it? Guards or fellow inmates? Fellow inmates. I don't know how they get the phone. How do I get the time to do this? But you always see that coming from Brazil. They'll sm just 20 on one, smashing his right on his shin and then nothing. It's awful. You feel bad for the guy. You wonder what the hell he did, but still, it doesn't matter. It's horrible. What he did or what he was accused of doing. There you yeah. go. Big difference. The, the parents of these three individuals, they had to come up with a lot of money to bribe the, bribe the government to let them get on. But they did. You know, I mean, you get caught with a couple kilos of cocaine here, you're not going to bribe anybody to get out anywhere unless you really, really know somebody somewhere. You know? But yeah, they. Reminds me of that movie. What was it Midnight Express? I was just about then, to uh, say that. The other yeah. one with Vince Vaughn, uh, Return to Paradise. Where they execute Joaquin Phoenix in the end, they hang him. I never saw that. Yeah, one. I, think I, I, I don't know where it was. Some drugs, yeah, and they they execute him. Midnight Express is one of the most fucked up movies. Yeah, it is creepy. Who was that? Turkey, Ooh, Turkey. Uh, what a hellhole! I can't remember it. I don't remember. He's, it. Yeah. he's stashing. He's trying to smuggle hash out of Turkey. Yeah, strapped to. I think it's strapped to his waist, he, and he gets caught going on the plane. My buddy, back then, he was making a career out of it, going all over the world. You know, he would go to Amsterdam and get ecstasy, or he'd go to Spain to get steroids, or you know, I don't know why he chose Venezuela. I think he get, got a cocaine hookup, and you know, he was gonna get juice too. But I remember one time <coughs> he came back, and this is the, 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 they used to take everything to their body, like their bodies. They're coming back walking, <laughs> so stiff and just that everything was cellophane to their body. It was, it, of course, this was pre nine eleven when when there was only the the you know the detectors. There was no bit. There was no body x-ray yeah there was yeah. no x-ray one time he came back they brought bro brought back um a boatload of ecstasy and i picked him up at the airport and we brought him to my condo and we broke everything out on my condo on a glass table a coffee glass table like this there was so much dust and powder i made like 20 or 30 big tablets out of the, just out of the dust from scraping the dust up and put them in the captain. And they're, they're like, they're, they're, they're like a double stack pill, you know, they were like, Shh. that's how many pills they were. Lenny, you just insist on doing all that stuff with the bag right next to the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> delicious meal. Yeah, it was. What was it? Haitian, Haitian food? food? Yeah, yeah, delicious. Best kept secret. Best value. Yeah. Fresh. Absolutely delicious. So I, I I went out and bought condoms for you guys because I, I think I don't think you guys are responsible enough to remember to bring them. So I, I, well, I need my this condoms for the strap-ons. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't. I was going to get them clean and bare back. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have been a good idea. Condoms in the, and I brought the. Uh, Weren't you going to bare back, Big J? <laughs> So yeah, I got some nice, cute outfits for you, buddy. Don't you worry. <laughs> the listeners are—they're they're all going to be like really totally surprised when they find out it was a Sunday night podcast of uh, you know spur of the moment type thing. Because I thought they were, you guys were going to end up skipping. Sometimes it. those are the best ones. Yeah, I did a little Instagram video for it. Yeah, yeah. So I figured, what the hell? You know, we only got two nights, so we yeah. make a count. Yeah, and you'll be back soon, hopefully. Definitely. Uh, I think think the uh, Grand Prix. What we're hopefully you'll be for. down here before you're the that. Grand Prix too. Well, yeah, that's a good date, and plus, hopefully, I'll be working there too. Dale could be yeah. healed up. Dale could do it too. Who else? Cornelius. What and if Ruby? I'm living close no. by? Grand, Grand Prix next April. When is that? Next April. April. Everyone the, the, can pile in my new place. See what it's like. Be right yeah, Lenny will be right there up in West Palm. The Florida, the Florida Grand Prix is by far the best, or it's it's one of the best, if not the best. NPC national qualifier in the country. Um, the first two years, or not the first two years, but when, when he when he moved it event when he when he moved it from from St. Lucia's High School to Nova, they had six hundred competitors in a in a damn national qualifier. That's, and how much fees insane. are people paying? Almost two hundred dollars, a hundred dollars total. Well, he does all kinds of you know, he, like he'll like tell people, hey, if you do it by such and such a date, it's half the price. That's you know, good that he does that. I was Surge gonna say, is a really really good guy. Yeah, because most from what I remember, they do very little for competitors. Yeah. Well, say somebody like so and so who likes to come in third place. Will he even get to pose? I'm not going to mention any names. I mean, is a chance he can come down here and not pose and not just do the prejudging for a few minutes and have to go um, back to North I, Carolina? I, 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd hate for that to happen. You know? think, That's why I was worried about this competitive show. Well, I, I think they um they they don't no no longer they don't do um a night show. Everything's done in the morning. So oh, really, so you 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 pose, you do your routine during the day. You know when when you when at whatever point it is. Um, so yeah, everybody everybody gets to do their routines. I think. I mean, I I, I think quality shows that every, like all what, Ruby doesn't let everybody do their routine. Uh. It depends. They did the last few years. They let all the bodybuilders come. Yeah, yeah. It just used to be top five only. Yeah, so right, right. I mean, back, back in the day, no. But all the shows now, because people are paying so much money. Oh, yeah. And said top yeah, five? Yeah, it's no oh, he'll be able, Mr. Third Place will be able to make it then. 2005, <laughs> when I came in seventh out of 12 in the Southerns, they didn't let me in. Yeah, I didn't yeah. go to the night show. Yeah, that's but, when you competed against the famous Jason Yu, right? Well, no. it's uh, different with it little different Paco. With, the, with the Southern States. Uh, yeah. Pablo, Pablo, yeah. It was different with the Southern States. I think Southern States doesn't because yeah. it used to be the largest show in the south but you know it's that the, there's less and less people could meet him yeah if i'm gonna make a comeback come back to a big yeah, show that's just, it. yeah come back where everybody's at because yeah. if i want to do the masters nationals you know i'm not i don't want to beat three people here and yeah. you know somewhere around here you know because i want to compete against the most competition that, there is that, you that's know? what that's, i yeah that's why we did the, the 04 southern states i want the best of yeah, the best so yeah. i mean why not i'm sure I'm, I'm sure i'm the one that influenced you guys into doing that kind of stuff because dominic influenced you know that's what dominic told yeah. me if you do a show you want to do a show you forget local shows where there's you know do a national level show so you know where you stand you know i need to harness some of that give zero fucks attitude going forward here you're getting there yeah me too but with that it's like what's the risk People, everybody, it was positive reaction. He said, "You got a lot of size and shape. Just come in and shape." We, well, hell, we dropped a hundred pounds to get to that point. We saw what it, what it would take for the next year, and yeah, it was a good experience at first. Southern states. Yeah, yeah Lenny looked fucking. That was the best he fucking looked, man. Oh <laughs> four? Oh no, whatever year it was. We were screaming at the wait when he screamed at the ice. Said, Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I was dying backstage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, he looked. He looked. Who I, wants I, some I, of me? Get up I, here! When he posted, when I, posted <laughs> when I took, when I had the picture of him doing the side, the side chest, he, he was full. Yeah, for me. both of us. Yeah, my, my legs. I, was, I mean, you. I've always been impressed yeah. by, but I like. I mean, like, look at Lenny. At Lenny, because now he doesn't have arms, and I saw yeah. those arms. I'm like, damn, Lenny used to have shit, man. You, you got to find that Deco drive yeah. tape because they had footage of Lenny and I walking to the stage. Our backs. We had the biggest backs and traps going I, in yeah, there. I can't find I, it. I scoured the internet for it. I can't find it. There's got to be something. Somebody's got to have something it was a deco drive in tell the maniacs what to look up maybe someone yeah. can find it what do they need to look up what about the svn7 if we called the station deco drive was the name of the show deco yeah. drive was wsvn7 and i don't know um southern states bodybuilding 2004 with daisy dead pedals the tranny which i didn't know at the time <laughs> i'd like to get a hold of the 05 and 0- the 05 southerns and the 06 floridas because I was, you know, we were both in good shape, and the 06 floor, I want a heavyweight. It's got to be out there somewhere on video. Yeah, the 07 was going to be my best ever until I tore my bicep tendon. I couldn't believe how I looked. I was 290, very lean, and I shattered the tendon. Maybe in your stomach extension wasn't as yeah, bad. I don't, you had it a little bit, but, you know, you were so much fuller, so it kind of hid that. Yeah. You know, it wasn't, you know. Uh, your conditioning's uh, better for all the yeah, Knox yeah, I mean, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your size has gone down dramatically, yeah. but your conditioning's be- probably better than ever, to tell That's you the truth. But when, when you work trying to plan a fitness. Yeah. Uh, you know what, Lenny? I think you need to, to change what you're doing, man. Yeah. You make some changes. To me, I think it's different. basically getting a real gym. Yeah. You know, I lost my gym. I lost I, my... I don't, I don't think it's the gym. I think it's food and drugs. I think you, I, I think you should maybe, well, you know, clean out. and Something, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like... Yeah. The great, well, the great thing about having all the old Delray Misfit episodes up on YouTube is you can go back and watch them and look how you looked when you had access to World Gym when you lived what thirty seconds my away. Back, I see some pictures of my right. back, I but you were believe. also heavier in the off season. Now you're like a lot leaner. Yeah. Your face and everything. I don't know what it is, but oh, uh, he's, you need to get the least, He's like he's super lean. Yeah, yeah like, I mean for I, I yeah, like, from what I remember, I, don't shit. Believe it, I think possibly DNP. Cripples the fat cell receptor. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know what it I, is. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I'll say one thing: insulin doesn't make me fat. No matter what a lot of people say, experts, I eat fat with it. I don't get fat, and I'm not diabetic either. I say lay off the orals, just stick to basics, and just stuff your face like what we did. And- yeah, I'm waiting. Get a new, get a free weight gym, and hopefully yeah. it opens up a nice gym. Get back to the Makes basics. A new, nice, unique place. My, my, the Walgreens. I looked at they, it was they pulled it off the market. I'm sure something else will pop up. Yeah, it's just I'm, I got there's it, 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 we've already spoke about this before, so I'm not going to harp on it too long. But to rent property and own a gym 
in South Florida, it doesn't make it doesn't makes absolutely no sense. You have to buy it. I mean, you like for instance, that Walgreens building is probably for sale for like a million, maybe a little over a million dollars. Your mortgage would be, you know, six, seven, eight thousand dollars a month. You know, you rent ten thousand square feet at fifteen dollars a square foot. You know, do the math on that. What is that? One hundred and fifty thousand a month and just in, 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 in you know rent. I mean, that's ridiculous. So, what is this? <laughs> I've been meaning to give that to Jason now for about six weeks, and I just... Why is this mail coming I here? It was a big package that was sent to us, and there was something included in it from Crazed Vapor, and I keep forgetting to put it in my gym bag for him. And I figured he was going to come tonight, cause so, so I left him. Oh, out. yeah, I saw that message, Piss Lord. I thought yeah. you meant, like, Piss Lord from Instagram. No. <laughs> and then Jason flaked out at the last minute. Brad might come. Brad's texting me now. He said he might make it over here. Um, Sundays are usually his busy day. Well, honestly, I just want to become the best, biggest I can be. Lean. That's it. For, yeah, I mean, for yourself. And I, you what know. scares me and depressed me was not being able to do that because I had it, you know, I don't want to go into detail about that situation. No, I will, though, and if, as time goes along, mm -hmm. once everything's wrapped up, I will spell every detail out. And again, I mean, there's nobody. I mean, even if you kill me, you probably do me a favor. There's nothing anybody could do to me or anybody else to hurt you. It's all on, on your own. You know, if you want to come and kill somebody, you got to be vigilant and fight it off. But anybody who tries to do something to anybody else, they really can't defeat you. Even if they kill you, they didn't defeat you. Because your ideas will live on forever, particularly with the Internet. Everybody leaves this earth. You know, if you whatever lasting idea to inspire others, that goes on in eternity. And like I said, there's nothing I won't do. Because if God sees everything, there's nothing I won't do that a maniac can't see. So I'm doing a mic adjustment on Lou. Adjust my mic. Someone's gonna be someone's gonna be talking into the mic. Uh, <laughs> talk into the mic. Oh, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Yes, talk into the mic. Uh, I'm so glad <laughs> Big J finally, and I'm gonna thank Lou for this on his behalf. Finally get a chance to unwind after that grueling. I couldn't imagine just being on a truck all yeah. those. Uh, Thankfully, we have people to, to do state, that. To state, yeah, I, cramping up, having to use the bathroom. Make, you, know. you really got to be, you know, they have to make those deadlines. Or I mean, I mean it's everything. I saw him in my house the other day. I said, "Go in the backyard. That'll be your giant piss square." I had a, I had a, I, had, I went and met him at the gym this morning. I had, you know, we had a good talk. How do you good. look? Like a giant he's, blueberry. He's, <laughs> that's what he looked like. He's, he's, he's whatever. What did it say on the scale? Three thirty or whatever. Yeah. yeah, he's a big guy. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. looking forward to meeting him finally. Shit. He's big. You see I him in person. Hopefully, he's fully yeah. clothed. I don't want to. When he gets a pump, you'd be surprised at how yeah. good his physique. No, he's a strong yeah, he guy. He knows his, his. He was vascular. Yeah, he knows his stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's, 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 he's tall too. He's yeah, almost he's a big guy. I like to see him in a football uniform playing nose tackle. Yeah, he. Cause he's an explosive lifter. Yeah. He had to be explosive. Wasn't he a shot putter? A shot putter? He was an all American. He yeah. left all his memorabilia, all his trophies, all America. He left it in that apartment and somebody threw it in the garbage. <laughs> I felt I, I should have grabbed that. I felt yeah. bad about this. You just grabbed the clum looter all that put you in my <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you get for not coming to me, Lenny. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to I, I don't want to come to you like, you know, I mean you've been really good to me over the years and like yeah, the iron, I, I, you don't I, I, want to come to him like the iron extortionist. Ready, ready. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna preface why all this is happening, why, why all this is happening tomorrow, and the reasons I've been coming on the show and and whatnot. Because I, really, I don't, you know, I, mean, I love you guys, Thanks. but I don't, you know, with what happens with because I've already been through my shit with trolls with one of my businesses, and I and I don't like dealing with those, you know, with those guys. Um, but Lenny and Andrew, um, you know, I've known them a long time. I've known him a long time, and, and they used to put a lot of money into my hand. This Andrew Kalora. Yes, Kalora. Andrew Kalora. Meow yeah. Man. Yeah, Meow Man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the, when, when they were training, and, and, and for all the money that they, they gave me, um, this is my gratitude, you know, to them and to the misfits because, you know, it's just I'm, I'm in a position now where I can do it. But, um, you know, they always, always stuck by my side, even after I, you know, even after the feds raided my house and I got busted and, um, yeah, they, you know, they, they, they're always stand up dudes and, 
you know, I always wanted to see him succeed, you know, so, um, you know, and, and Lenny continued to do business, you know, Lenny's been, you know, supporting my other companies now for forever, you know, so. Yeah, great products, and, you know, you know, and the best kept secrets, I like to call them, you know, that you can take the guts to use tried and true products that the government doesn't want you to use simply because they can't make a profit on you, you know, it's starting to look at American propaganda now. And soon they're going to take the sirens from companies that carry sirens because they want to make yeah. those legal now too. And then you go to Walgreens and CVS on every corner, yep. So people can get their antidepressants, which are poison. It's what are, what's causing all the school shooters? Yeah, most shooters they found are on it's like SSRIs and everything insane else. Insane women. Yep. Men. You name it. Suicides. Yeah, it's suicidal. It makes you suicidal. The corpses. You could line them up. It would look like something out of a Holocaust from suicides from that stuff. Because you're playing with that brain chemistry up and down. I can nope, speak. nope. Just keep blaming the NRA. <laughs> oh, I want to talk about Holocaust, and I, I want to talk about the the, the M13 comment with with Trump. What do you think about that, Lenny? The MS13. I'm not familiar MS with it. Yeah. Oh, you didn't. You didn't. You're, you're not familiar he, with it. When he called the MS13 gang members animals. And then the, the, the liberals came to the animals' defense. But, but, well, what I was going to say real quick is what's so funny about that. It, it, Donald Trump either has no idea what he's doing or he is so fucking brilliant that none of us are even on his level. I think that's true. Sure think about it. He, he makes a remark like that. He says MS-13 gang members are animals. All of the liberals and Democrats bash Donald Trump for calling them animals. And now everyone is now blasting the liberals and Democrats for defending gang yeah, members. That is brilliant. It, it, is that a, just an amazing yeah. strategy on Trump's part or is he just... Not even realize he's doing that. But like Lenny said with the pornography, I think they, they need to come up with a different term other than animals because animals don't do that to their own. There's got to be a better ter fitting term for those people for what they're doing. Just vile scum. Human. Fit. I've heard stories from people in New York what they do to young teenage girls. Yep. I mean, ugh, just I, vile. I don't, know how, I, I don't know like how fucking that weird fucking bitch, whatever her name is, can what, Pelosi. No, well Pelosi, but no Clinton. You know, I mean, what the fuck? This lady is like, in, like li literally, like you know, gang approval, like having gang approval. They're, like, there's no approval of gangs. She doesn't, she's not affected by it with her yeah, yeah, they, team of security. Yeah, exactly. Surrounded by security, it's just like, man, lady, you're demented. You know, I've I've been in some dark places around some fucking crazy people in my life. You know, and uh, oh shit. Well, did you guys all see that video was going around Instagram of the Mexicans at the border shot bullet holes in the head oh, and blood. Cops. The guy speaking Spanish. It's on the whoever wires. posted it said it's been pulled down and this guy's going to keep reposting it. And all the comments were like, they need to send this to Pelosi and the liberals. Just crazy. Just, just. Yeah, but those are their voters. They want them yeah. in the country. You know? Yeah. They spent, they spent four billion or forget four billion was it? I read. They, you know, the ones that pay federal income tax it's either four billion or four trillion or something i saw a number so there's you know it's basically it's basically saying they pay they pay taxes well that's the small percentage of them that pay taxes you know what about the ones that don't you know what i mean but just once i want to hear someone like pelosi or some liberal democrat why not give donald trump just a little bit of credit the unemployment rate is down the economy is booming it's the, 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 yeah, the, they'll focus on these absurd little things and they, more, they, more, they, 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 just let them do his fucking job. Yeah, they don't care about the country. They care about their own agenda, there's, their power. There's more and more shit coming out about the scandalous president too. Now, you know, there, there's, the, you know, he made a comment about, you know, he, there was no scandals going on while he was president during Who, Obama, Obama, well, that's what he said, but right. now more and more shit's coming out. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, Benghazi. Yes. I mean, you can yeah. name 10 of them off the top yeah. of your head. If you he weakened our military, you know, made too many cuts and yeah, I got was horrible. Russia's improved their military quite a bit. With that new cruise missile they have, that they, they can hit Florida at any time, and we can't stop it. It would hit Central Florida, basically the whole. From where? From the west, shooting from the west to the east, shooting from from Russia, right from Russia. They have a new cruise missile technology, and their State of the Union version of the State of the Union address. He said that at their big meeting on TV. He went into detail. He says, "Look, we're not going to provoke anything, but if provoked, 
just letting the world know we have the technology to do this. We have a cruise missile that can be guided and can't be picked up by any laser technology that they know. It would take us years to develop it, and we could take out the entire state of Florida by striking at Central Florida with these cruise missiles. Why, why would they want to go after Florida, though? What's here? I mean, other that, than that Trump's, just, that just what's, what's here is, is Trump's house. Is That's why he's probably saying it because of, right. of what do you call it now that I think about it. That, that would be the only reason why. Because, yeah, they, they, I mean, the, the, they, I think they maybe up, they might have some. Uh, it makes sense to go miss, after Washington. I think they have a lot of uh, like missile, they did last time. missile installations in the state of Florida that they know about. It's possible. But why Why would we have missile installations other than to fucking bomb Cuba? To, that's it. You know what I mean? I mean? We don't have... We don't have... Well, he made the statement. I'm not... Well, yeah, it's because of, because of because of Mar Largo. That's it. You know? They, they would hope that Trump would be here. <laughs> yeah. He said they could do it any time if provoked. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I like... The more and more, I just think this shit is all hacked out. And even the lady that asked the question about MS-13, I, I bet you that question was posed. So, you know, he could say that to have that oh, happen, sure, you know absolutely. what I mean? It's like, I just, the way I think about this stuff, I'm like, how much of this stuff is really, really, you know? What about old Morgan Freeman? You think he's uh, guilty? No. <laughs> I don't think Bill Cosby's guilty I don't think either. so either. You know what Morgan Freeman should say? He's a homosexual from what I heard. He should say, I'm 80 years old, go fuck yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you yeah, know? Well, I mean, I'm sure, how old is, how old is, is, um, um, Cosby, Cosby. Man, the late yeah, 70s. Old, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Late made. 70s. Spending the life and rest of your life in prison. They tried to pull out with Matt Patricia, the new head coach of the Lions. Oh, yeah. From 96 and spring break in um, South Padre Island, a girl supposedly but said it, he, he, he has sexually assaulted her. She couldn't recall any of the facts. They threw it out back then, yet now it's brought up when he's going to become a head coach. If I followed the Bill, Bill Cosby case correctly, didn't these women voluntarily exactly. take this pill? Apparently, he let them in his house, and he'd say, take these pills, they'll help you relax. Did they ask him what the pills were? If someone gives me a pill and says, take it, to help you relax. Sounds familiar. I'm sure as fuck not taking it unless somebody tells me exactly what it is. <laughs> what? what? Who? Lenny says, it sounds familiar. What are you talking about, Lenny? I'll trim. <laughs> I've, never, I've never given a female a pill. <laughs> what are we talking about? He's talking, he's talking about me. Is that a Freudian slip? <laughs> what are we talking I, about? I, um, I got Bill Cosby story. He he had a he has a house. I mean, he used to reside in Massachusetts in a called, town called Shelburne Falls, which was the binding town of my town that I grew up in. And I used to play with his son Ennis. I think it was his name. That's his daughter. She just died. No, no en Enzo. Excuse me. No, Enzo Ennis, and Ennis, Ennis was uh, um, the boy that got the, the kid that got hit on the side of the highway. Right. He got killed. But I don't know if he was a kid. He was probably in his twenties at the time. But I used to hang out with him at the YMCA all the time. Um, you never met his dad. Nope, I never, never. Well, I, the one time I met Bill was was it in one of the stores in town. But Ennis was a stud, like a stud. Like he was, he 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 just had that body. You know what I mean? I'm talking like when we were in like seventh and eighth grade. He was already jacked, muscular pecs. You know, shredded abs. You know, strong as a bull. Yeah, Bill was a track athlete at Temple University. We used to wrestle in a swimming pool at at the. Uh, at the YMCA. I think I gave him a run for his money, though. <laughs> You're from Western Mass, Lou? Yeah, Western yeah. Mass, Jesus, yeah. How well, far is that from Boston? 90 minutes. Okay. Yeah. 90 miles. You're from the same area as so maybe Jay Cutler, Matt Arazzo, John no, they're, they're, they're on yeah. the East Coast, guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm from the area where a uh, famous bodybuilder by the name of Jeff King. Yes, oh, I've yeah. heard of him. That massive He's neck. a freak. Yeah, yeah. Even back then, you look at his pictures. Yeah. It's like incredible. Yeah. yeah. Springfield, he was from Springfield, Mass. Big thighs, yeah. everything. Oh, yeah. Yep, he, was, he looked he looked phenomenal. The veiny mother. Yeah, he looked great. Yeah, Bill was a great guy. Watched him on the Cosby show, which, you know, I hate to I admit. Mean, and then uh, Fat Albert was great. No, Fat Albert was before Cosby's, though. That's when we were kids watching yeah. that stuff, you know? <laughs> it's Fat Albert. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded just like him. <laughs> I, I think Jason should work on that impression. That sounds, like, that sounds like one of his. I, man, I, I used to watch that show every Sunday morning, and I did the same thing. I'd grill, make grilled cheeses and sit there, and I'd watch... For the, uh, fat yeah, I mean, my wife's <laughs> doing the same. Yeah. Lenny, got uh, Instagram question for you. Question for Lenny or anyone. Would you recommend a young man between the ages of 13 and 18 focus more on playing high school sports? Yes. Or, or getting work experience with a part-time job? Sports. High school sports. sports. You get one opportunity. You blow it. You end up like me. Miserable. 
I agree. You give it 150% to get that D1 scholarship. Yes. Like my father told me, which he got. Every one of my uncles got one, too. They all played D1. And my father said, if you're going to go through those practices, you could go for the big time. Yeah. <laughs> of course, he was over six foot. I mean, not putting anybody down with a Freudian slip here. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe Luke could have played D one. Uh, just Zach Thomas. Yeah. I, I, first of all, I didn't run a four four forty. Did he? Yeah. I mean, he come on, who does? He, he, I mean, he was he was fast. That's why Zach Thomas was in the NFL. That's what. That's why he was there. It was because of his speed. That's what. And that was what his forty time was claimed. I think it was a four four at the. Combine. Yeah, he was a damn good college linebacker. Very yeah. productive. Yeah. Um, he was all over the field. I could have. I probably could have. I mean, I definitely played way way you know way above my level at. at you know, at a D3 school. Um, D2, for sure, I could have played at any D2 school. D3, I mean, D1, maybe, what is it, 1AA? Was there 1A or whatever? I may have been able to, but I don't think I would have been a starter, you know. Um, I just, yeah, just, I, you know. It's, well, you could have somebody working on your speed, maybe the, yeah, working at the weak points, I, yeah. the flexibility, possibly. You know, speed maybe. height, too, being, you know, 5'9", isn't, you know. Yeah. Isn't a look for a linebacker. They want taller people, but I don't. You know, I and, it, and, it, and it, it's crazy. You know, people don't understand this, and you know what I mean. A lot of people don't understand this, but in situations, I saw football ahead of people. You know, like I, I saw things. Like I knew where the ball was going to be. I just like I could just like I, I saw the play develop before anyone else saw it develop. I was able to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, and, it's, it's, it, and it's the same way in life. Like when things are going by me fast. Like, like, for, it like, it almost like slows down for me. You know what I mean? Like one time I punched a kid in the club. I, the, the, uh, there's another book story, but I'll, I'll tell you this one. Um, I was with a girl in a strip club, my girlfriend, Lisa, we we're in the strip club and two dudes are sitting in the club um, across from us. And they had, it was Blondage. I don't know if you guys ever remember that game, the name G Jenna, whatever. Or was in it? Um, I think she was Jenna actually, Jameson. Not Jameson, but Jenna something else. She actually married. She was actually what's his name? The motorcycle guy, the guy that makes motorcycles. It was oh, like yeah. his first girlfriend's. What's his name? Um, Jesse James. Jesse James. Jesse yeah. James girlfriend. Um, we're in the club. Blondage is there. The place is packed. You know, tees lounge. Fifty naked women run around. These two guys start looking over at us. Um, and I'm like, oh man, what you got to give me? You know, I'm like, you know. Well, you know what the fuck you know if there's uh the um the place is packed with women and you want to start fucking with us so i'm just like i, I try to blow it off i blow it off and they start they start looking over at us more and like look in and i'm like i'm like dude there's 50 fucking naked women in this place you know leave us alone would you <laughs> And the kid stands up and he, they, the two come over. One's, you know, bald head like Andrew and thinks he's a tough guy. And another one's like probably six, 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 seven basketball, leaner, you know, skinny guy. So I stand up and I'm like, what's up, man? And, and they're like, I was like, you know, can't you just leave us alone? He goes, what are you going to do about it? And I said, I'm going to put you to sleep. <laughs> and he, goes, and he, he gets closer up into my face. He says, what are you going to do about it? And I said, I'm going to put you to sleep. What? Crack! I hit him. <laughs> And as he's falling, like he's falling in slow motion and he got about just a little bit low, a little higher than waist high. And I hit him again under the, under the cheek. And I split him right there too, as he fell was he, while he was unconscious. So I, I got him with two good shots and he <laughs> fell on the ground. And I, I said to his buddy, you're next. I made one step towards him and the fucking kid sprinted out the door. <laughs> well, anyways, my brother was a bartender at the place. So he and, and the bouncer came over and picked him up and, 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 and dragged him over. The guy had pissed his pants from when I knocked him <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, <that's shit. laughs> Look at my brother goes, look at he pissed his pants. <laughs> uh, that's the thing about if you're a football player, if you're a fighter, a bar fight's like a joke to you. Yeah, I mean, I boxed. I was, yeah, I, that's I, like, I boxed with a state police team. I remember. I got, you know, I got a little things basic, didn't little. bother you no. when you're going through two a day camps. Yeah, you know, it's just like whatever, man. But fuck, that was one of those. Then it was because me and Lisa just started dating, and she thought it was fucking the coolest thing in the world. You know, she's never seen anything like that. She's never seen. She'll anything. never see anything like it yeah. again. She's like, I've never seen anybody. If there was somebody. one girl, if any of those girls you've been with in the past that you wish you could see again, I mean, what do you mean see how? Just to see her one more time, and I mean, well, Sherry's always been the love of my life, you know. And that's, you know, I, mean, I didn't know that. I know it was that. Oh, dude, that was. I mean, Sherry, yeah, she was. She was a great girl. I, I took another. Did you just brushed her off? No, no, she's Sherry no, Nichols, I was, I was, right? Because I follow her on Instagram. That's her, right? No, no, no. It's, no, she, I don't. Maybe she. I don't. I don't know her on Instagram. No, doesn't look like her. No, she's on. On she's on it. She's on. Uh, 
Facebook, but, but not Instagram, I don't think. There's some sharing that was pretty good looking. Yeah, it's not yeah. my type, but blonde is always posting videos. I don't know if it's her or not. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sherry by far is, you know, I mean, I, I could have sworn it said Sherry Lee Nichols. <laughs> no, Sherry, her, her, Sherry her, Lee. Oh, unless she got married again. Her the, the, her husband's name was, um, uh, I'm not going to say his last name, but uh, anyways, that was that, she, that wasn't his name. And, and, uh, and look who it is. Wow. Hey, niggas. <laughs> What's going on? Now we're niggers. How you doing? Oh, boy, Appreciate it. <laughs> that gear's working good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What you That's been up to today, Brad? He's figuring this out. He's gearing himself up at nine o'clock. Stay with the family, man. It's nice, nice. Glad to hear it. I'll let you stay in my seat since you're the guest. Oh, this is your seat. <laughs> No, I'm not getting any of your dopes party. blown my way. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's gonna be all me tonight. He's sitting right here now. <sighs> so Are you excited for tomorrow? Yeah. I heard you're gonna back out on uh, any of the fest festivities. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> the festivities. I like get the trim the beard. Looks good. Like it? Yeah. Hey, look less uh, fucking terror. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> flight risk. You want to see some outfits with me and Angie got for the girls and you Jay? Guys, what you guys are gonna wear. <laughs> Jay glasses. We got the queen size, crotchless fishnet body hey, stuff. Hey, we get enough beers and coke and Jay, and he'll wear all that shit. <laughs> How's that gonna look? No oh, water, crotchless. Crotchless. Not looking good. It still yeah. works every time. Crotchless. A couple weeks ago, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Especially oh, if you got a girl that's really thick, it makes everything all tight and encased. <laughs> Get an extra small pair. It works. I've been doing this for years. You sick fucks. This is for you, Dale. You're going to wear this at the next competition. Where did you go to get We got a special pair of posing trucks, Dale. Oh, that right there. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. They had a That's product a there. Never passed that store, Leonard's Lou. They have <laughs> liquids. They have liquids there. And it said, uh, one's called Jungle Juice. The other yeah. one's called, and it said Methyl Butyre. We I asked the guy, what, what is it? Anything. He just looked at us and said, what did he say it was for? He's like, I can't tell you. He goes, yeah, look so it up we're thinking I it's G. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, well, he goes, you, no, he goes, just, he goes it's a cleaning solution. I did. I, it said something about inhalation. You got to Google so jungle it's too juice. Small those to be. I mean, jungle juice isn't that Kool Aid? Fucking has a purple drink. <laughs> purple yeah, drink. Exactly. <laughs> Jamarcus Russell. What about her? Yeah, never heard. Of, I've heard. Did you of see her. that what they did last week with the NFL? Yeah, no, yeah. No more kneeling. They made a rule, and the fucking Jets owner said he'll pay any player's fine that wants to kneel. I hope yep. they lose every yeah, yeah. fucking kneel for what? Yeah, what are you kneeling for? Game, a lot of good. It did uh, Kaepernick and Eric Reed. They're out of the league right now. You're, Nobody wants you're them. You're slapping the fan. The fans need to stay home. That's what they're doing. I mean, that's what they lost. They lost. Yeah, they did, the, they did lost. lose a lot. Doing, everyone's like, oh, they're doing it for Trump. No, they're doing it because they're losing business. You know. Tons of business. What was the kneeling about to begin with? Wasn't it about police brutality? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. lax. I'm yeah. lax. Specifically. But what has that got to do with the flag? <laughs> Every one of those cases, none of those people cooperate with the police. Police tell you to do something, you do it. You don't argue your case. It's not a court of law. Yeah, exactly. yeah the minute you get an attitude with a cop, no matter who you are, yes. what they do to me, what color you are, do, regardless of your color, shit. Lenny, I, I was, I was, I was thinking about this. I was thinking about this. I was like, how long ago did you get busted? For, for having a package coming in now. How many years ago was that? That was, that was December 27th, 1997. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys ever, did you ever talk to you guys about that? Did you guys ever talk about, to you? Yeah, about, yeah, three or two D-balls, or three. right? Was it D-balls? It was a thousand pink Diana ball from Thailand, the stop signs. signs. Yeah. <laughs> and they counted these two fat bitches with green DEA nice jackets. You ordered vitamins, right? How the fuck do they know? Well, I had other stuff at the house, but they had these gloves <laughs> on. They counted them out, 996. Uh, they didn't do a good job counting. I think it was more due to who you were living with at the time. But, um, yeah, the shit windows were shuttered. They found residue of crack cocaine on the Coke cans. They were outside the recycling bin. They put that on the seizure notice. Who? who you mean the warrant? Because the guy's brother was living there at the time, too. And he used to, he took my bike one time for a stroll into the ghetto. And it seemed like the police took fucking seized my bike. <laughs> Which is my transportation, and they had to bring it back to so me. So they were just looking for a way to get into your into the house. They thought the I think so. Yeah, was he, he was a crackhead. They thought he was a drug dealer. Well, yeah, he was. You know, there were a bunch of crackheads living there before he got sentenced, and then his parents started living there. And we had hurricane shutters up, and they never bothered to take them down. Yeah, we had a hurricane warning. And they left them up and looked suspicious. There's people still with hurricane shutters up from my ass. <laughs> yeah, so. That shit happens all the time. You can tell what people are going on in there. They seized the everything I had, plus the Rao Grow cartridge I had. I oh, yeah, remember that? 
what is that? Propionate and estradiol. I think it was a straight fungus that, that took off corn that made cattle grow. It's an estrogen. It was pure estrogen. It had, but it raised your IGF-1 levels through the roof. Just like uh, deer antler. <laughs> Oh. Better than that. <laughs> that's, that's a cattle band nurse. That was, yeah, that was really? Or antler spray or something. Yeah, he would tell me that shit. No, that. Whatever what else did he used to take? That fucking, that one herb? Tomcat out. Yes. Yeah. Tomcat. Uh, very, <laughs> very clever, isn't it? <laughs> that guy that came down from Canada looked like a juiced up Chuck the Cataband or Michelangelo or whatever his name is. Well, he was He's a big guy. Big guy. But his face looked like Chuck. Oh, yeah, didn't he? Off. Hold on. Again. Wow. Here, record this, Andrew, will you? Michelangelo. I can put it up on the show. Guy Montreal. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow at the at the at the brown. This the, is from right Michelangelo sent me. Something like that, yeah. That's a classic expo. Broccolini. Oh, that's nice. Where are the expos now? Fits. Where are they now? Nationals, Washington Nationals. Washington Nationals. Oh, is that anything? Yeah, they're wow. not in existence anymore. Ten for a look at that. For ten tens. Ten tens. Ten this sort's a collector's item. You got to get her to sign I it. I bet Lenny. you this is the young. Yeah, that's too big for Lenny. You got to get it away for ass for it to <laughs> Too some, big. Rub some of it on Lenny. Pussy juice. Let's see, I, bet it's I don't too want big. to put it on tomorrow until tomorrow for the party. Uh, I bet it's too big for it. You got to see if it fits. Put it says it on. 62. It's going to be way too big for him. Lenny's too small. Oh, I, I don't want to show my flabby physique. <laughs> you can put it on over that shirt. Yeah, just put it over the shirt. Like you're wearing it. Like this is shirt. nice. <laughs> When'd you get the blue ones? I got, no, I got all colors. Got all, I saw that one on your Instagram. Somebody actually colors. messaged me and asked how they could order it. Say, tell um, these people where they can order it. Well, right now, the Instagram page is happy under, like underscore Hulk underscore 18. There's not another the shirt of this. The website should be live. The, the website. Brock lady on the back? <laughs> oh, it fits like a glove. Yeah, like a fucking glove, all right. Actually, like an OJ glove. <laughs> what the fuck is that fitting? Actually, it does look perfect. Yeah, it looks good, good. It yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. Except for the arms. It's a little tight. Isn't that nice? <laughs> if you put the button on it, it'd look wrong. Yeah, it looks good, though. Thanks, Michelangelo. I really appreciate that. Michael Thanks Ang for the other stuff, too. I hear that's the way to use it. Michelangelo said yes. that. Yes, the other thing you gave me, that's what you're supposed to be using. What was that? According to Matt Porter. What? Can't say it? I could, but <laughs> I don't want everyone to know the secrets. Okay, you can tell me. You can tell me after the show. This is probably one of the best shirts I ever. Well, hold on, you're taking advice from Matt Porter now. I thought you said he was a cookie cutter. <laughs> no, I looked at his. Yeah, he's a smart guy now, huh, Lenny? You're starting to come to my. You're, you're starting to come to, to terms with what Lou says. Like Lou might be on something because uh, when Lou needs me, when Lou says something, yeah, it's usually it's about. usually it's usually a pretty good suggestion, Lenny. <laughs> Let, Lou doesn't talk. This is nice. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wear this shirt to all my future bodybuilding contests for sure. Nice. Get it all stained up. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Smelly fucking tanning oil. Uh, good. How was your flight? No, no A little bit. Nothing? No. No. Positive thinking. Told, yeah. No. I'll be, I've been eating some, crow so crow far. A uh, little bumpy, a little turbulence, but uh, I thought for sure be delayed. It was 20 minutes early. No shit. Good. So. What time did you get in? Quarter after one. Yeah. Straight through, right? No, yeah. I, well, I went from Greenville to Charlotte and then Charlotte here, but the flight from Charlotte to West Palm seemed a lot faster than Greenville to Fort Lauderdale, but I don't know. Hmm. American Airlines, yeah. Yeah, no, no issues. I'm really, really excited about tomorrow. It's, you know, I've, I've, I haven't been excited hey, about this. Hey, the weather anymore. got nice this afternoon. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Well, 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 no, I was like, yeah, it's like it got sunny. It was a little breezy. I was like, I thought it'd be torrential downpours when I got here. The, the, uh, powers that be for not letting yeah. anything Lou's stop right. this fucking party. Yeah. Yeah. Immense gods. That's right. <laughs> Lou has it. I got a direct connect. That's right. Yeah. Leonard, you, it, you, 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 you don't have agreements with me with believing having positive whatever like the, um, what is that book? Uh, the Secret. The Norman secret. Vincent yeah, Peale, yeah. The Power of Positive Thinking. No, I thought I you. I, th about I thought you agreed with me on that one day. Yeah, I mean Napoleon yeah. Hill, Think and Grow Rich, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, I yeah thought, have, what's his name is into that? Yeah, Man, Eckhart Tolle. Yeah. There's no. Uh -huh. But when you think something into existence, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I definitely believe if you think positive, positive things will happen. If you think negative negative things are going to happen well, that's true. That's you're, you're, you're putting yourself in a mind state and that's where it all starts you know what i mean you, you're in a state of mind like oh shit man i'm a loser i'm not going to get anywhere in life you're not going to fucking get anywhere I fucking but there's, there's, a, there's a you know 
you can think positive, positive, positive all you want. You also have to do yeah, it. apply, of yeah. course. Yeah, there, but, there's, yeah. but there's, it's yeah. just like things don't just fall in It's just like, I'm, it's I'm just, happy it's, today. Right, it's, it's, everything's going to happen. Right. No, of course. Yeah. I mean, it's about making the decision and doing the steps to get the work done to make it happen. Yeah, but yeah. you have to believe it's going to happen along the lines. If you don't believe it's going to happen, you start losing belief. You're just going to fucking, you know, sidetrack yourself. You're going to derail but yourself. For me, I definitely do what we spoke about. I'm definitely all for it. I have no qualms about doing that yeah. and having a regular job or whatever, as many sources as possible. Because I think we have a lot of plans in the future and I don't want to. You know, I still want to get a gym somehow if it's going to be, you know, in a non-commercial property or anything else. You know, I still I yeah, still I just, see things like that. And obviously, you know, it has to be a big, big year for a really, really big year. I'm talking about crypto. like in a you know business park or something like that. But here, here's the thing. And, and like if, if I'm talking about building a business and running a business, it's got to be done right. If I'm going to put money into something, because I mean, if, you got to have the traffic. That's what it's all about. Traffic, people driving by the thing. You know what I mean? Unless you're talking about just a small gym for, your, you know, a few guys or whatever. But, you know, I'm talking about epic shit. You know what I mean? Like making whatever those places mega or meccas or whatever they're called you know it can still be i mean look at uh we're ronnie coleman sur- yeah, that's in a business park by metroflex gym that's shit. a business yeah, right. park you know. something like the old metroflex but nicer you know like in, where ronnie coleman was done and uh i like i don't know if you watched any of cornelius's instagram but his gym is fucking nice man yeah north carolina yeah wherever that gym that's his private gym yeah i think it says it is yeah it's fucking nice I, mean, I've, I've not, I haven't been down to flex's place he's, he's invited me down there a bunch of times flex like, lewis yeah the dragon lair the dragon's lair it's called he, he lives just, down here yeah he lives in boca oh okay um where is it Flex Lewis has a gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. He goes to Busybody out west. He's no, 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 no. Pets, he has his own place. It's called the Dragon's Lair. He just redid all the equipment and everything. It's in Boca. He's the English guy. Right? He's in, he's yeah. in the warehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Two twelve. He's invited into his gym. The two twelve. That's uh, near the barber, right? Yeah. I think it's I, like I, I think BSN built it for him, and then he kind of took it over. It's his. You know what I mean? It's not like. Is there like MMA people there and stuff? Um. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh. I didn't know that. Anthony Rumble trains there and mm-hmm. you no know, there's only a few select people that work out there i don't think it's open for business i don't even think it's open to business for people you know i think he allows personal trainers to train clients in there and um that's the thing he's making enough money to sustain it yeah that's a cool i mean that's and i talked to, i don't know who i was oh, i think i was talking to jay's like you you know you don't open a gym to get rich you know and i go i understand that it's that's not why i'm opening a gym it's because it's my passion and it's my love and it's something i want to do just to do you know what i mean it's about i've always talked about doing it and you know i would enjoy doing it but i'm not going to just i'm not going to do it to make it an expense you know you want to at least break even yeah you know and if you sell merch you sell peptides or whatever that you know what i'm saying all those that (laughs) yeah supplements yeah the meal planning would be i think would do well no no don't divulge my 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 damn <laughs> ideas, man. <laughs> well, everybody, oh, that'd be great having those meals delivered. That'd be a godsend for everybody. You're gonna live there, Leonard. I you will. Go to gym. <laughs> you gotta. I mean, I, what I would like to do, I'd like to maybe find a place where where um it could be in a strip mall and have a couple places off of it, and also one those, and maybe have like a medical place or a masseuse, you know, um, a restaurant. I love or, a bar. You know, you know, a bar possibly too. Yeah, you know. Like nippers. Yeah, yeah, just a, yeah, yeah, nippers and damn, what do you call it? Yeah. That's still open, you know. Is it? Oh, yeah. So Did you work there? Him. Yes. Paid handsomely there. I don't know why I quit. That's a kid that. Guy wanted me to cook there too. He said he'd give me a raise. What was it? used to work with the one in Boca? Um, Corey Gilbert. Corey, yeah. 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 Corey. Oh, he's got to say last name. He's, well, he's, uh, he's not bad. with us anymore. He's been dead. Lenny's outlived him like twofold. He told Lenny he dropped dead at 30. and I was putting butter in my shakes. Yeah. How old was he when he died? Pretty, Pretty young, twenty something, from thirties to Florida. Yeah, when he died, he won Mister Florida. Oh, D, I think. Yes, when did he win Florida? I don't think he won Mister. Florida. Dress one, remember dress? Dress, the yeah. That the creep. Big, like, yeah, weak as piss. He used to wear a long shirt, look like a dress. He used to put a belt on and look like a mini skirt. He won Mister Florida. Who? He used to fuck around with Nikki. Yeah, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki Perel. <laughs> Everybody wanted to fuck Nikki. I fucked her. How was it? She was fine, but she had bubblegum vagina. What really? Oh, From all the gear. Sloppy yeah. pussy. No, no, just a big, like, fucking big clit and big lips. 
you know. She needs that uh, reconstruction, beautification yeah. surgery. I mean, Andrew would have sucked it off back in the day. <laughs> he, he was chasing her for like he was infatuated with her. Yeah, I my, thought... my buddy, my buddy Mike, you guys are gonna meet tomorrow. He always wanted to fuck her. He was trying to fuck her. Like, I go, why is everyone trying to fuck her? I thought she threw it around. There, he yeah. said she used to blow a bunch of guys on the dance floor. She used to roll and go down to some clubs and just yeah, drop everybody's yeah, trout. Back in the day. Blow guys out in yeah, the dance. Yeah, that's let, let me let me let, let's just clarify something. <laughs> not much, not much truth comes out of Lenny um, out, out of Larry's mouth. So let's just get that clear. <laughs> Up, okay? it's fucking I remember there's a girl in high school that you know she wore tight. We used to call her meat sack because she had a big fat pussy. Meat sack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh, did I divulge a story about her? I don't know. This is this. I don't know. If I, divulge. This this might be. This could be. Um. Anyways, one night she was fucked up, and I was with her, and I was with a couple of my friends, and she was fucked up. And this was before I think there was cameras on cell phones these were like flip phones before the you know but i had like an old camera on she was fucking bad fucking take all kinds of pictures oh shit hashtag me too god if we, i couldn't imagine what would happen if, we, if it was cell phones back then i was feeling so guilty and, and like the, they were snapping the pictures and putting their face down by her pussy and doing all kinds of crazy shit I was like, I really she had a big bush no, I think chicks were shaving their pussies back then. What nationality was she? She looked Italian. Yeah, but... yeah she, I think she was. Yeah. This was when I lived in Boca. And yeah, I, we didn't have the right. balls to approach her at the time. She was so loud and obnoxious. She was, she was fun. I remember fucking her in the pool. And, yeah. She was doing that long guy. She was doing the long guy for a long time, and she would come over to my house and want to fuck me. I can't <laughs> it was a long guy. He used to work out at the, the Worlds in Delray. Um, I can't remember his name. He had a lawn service? A lawn service. I know who you're talking. No, not Larry. You not Larry. Sure. No, you're talking about. No, I know Larry. You're talking about Lawn Man Larry. That's a different guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're talking about somebody different. Um, it wasn't. I don't, I don't remember his name, but um, he was. They were together. They were together, and he used, she used to come into my house. Lawn Man Larry. Down here, there's. Hey, how many Lawn guys? He was a kid. He was one Larry at a lawn. He was all the time. He was. He was. He was a customer of mine when all that shit happened with the DEA. Yeah. And like. He used to like really beat me down on pricing, and he, you know he was he was giving me a hard time, you know, <laughs> when I got busted, you know. So I was like, dude, shit got. I'm sorry, man. You're not getting. Shit. I just got fucking arrested. What happened with that creep you told us about about a month and a half ago? You met him at LA Fitness, and he says, "Oh yeah, those guys." We never are saw the, him again. That's bizarre. We never. Brad said, and I never saw the guy again. He says we know his business practices. I don't know who yeah. the hell the guy was. He's about six foot five. That's right. That fucking Remember him? was Mark or something. Mark. Mark. Very he's, bizarre fucking dude. He you said got, he was intense. I was wearing this Lenny Rep shirt and he came up to me and kind of slowly looking at me and he's like, Oh, what was that shirt about the the guy that you guys film? And he said he's known Lenny for years, he's known you for years. He said he knows you, he knew he said Jason. He knows him. I don't right. know. None of us know who the hell he is. Maybe if you saw him. Awesome. He, he, not, he stands out. He yes. can't miss him. Yeah. I wonder if tall fucking guy. We exchanged phone numbers. numbers. I mean, it couldn't be him. He's not that tall, right? No, I don't remember. He's 6'5". No, no, six no. Five he was like 6'. He was 6'something. Yeah. He wasn't. Do you, you remember Mark Law? The blonde haired kid he used to compete? No. I yeah, know. I know. He that day he was just in. talking about all kinds of weird videos that he wants to yeah, do and get us involved. Very strange. And Andrew's like, all right, Here's my number. Yeah. He's probably listening to the show right now. Hi, 6'5". Six, 6'5". Five, six, five, 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 Why would he go to trouble saying all those names? Yeah. Well, he said he used to make Tran, he had, but he got busted. Didn't he say he did time in prison or some shit? Something like this. I mean, everybody used to make... Everyone used to crush up the bones. Oh, yeah. Uh, the cartridges. What are, you, what are you running now? You're up well, at least 25 pounds. Since yeah, well, week. about yeah, 25. What do you contribute that to? 500 megs of test, 300 megs of DECA. Oh, what, now, what about before that? <laughs> hmm? What about before that? What what you what did you praise before that? What did you use when you, were you praised before that? With a rad 140. Oh yeah, yeah definitely <laughs> kickstarted that. Put on the the majority of it. What? Yeah, How could he, yeah so he said he gained 15 pounds yeah. from it. That's the peptide. Yeah, research liquid. Yeah. But it, once it left my system, there was like a four to five day period before the stuff I'm on now kicked. And I felt that's why I said I feel like shit because it shut me down a little bit, I think. But then, it, you know, uh, once I kicked in, my biggest great question. stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And when I went direct this to Lou, I had a maniac tell me that it blocks the receptors for should I take that in between cycles or with a cycle? And I think that has an anti estrogenic effect because I read up yeah, it's good for breast I don't cancer. Know how you should take that because it's for. Research purposes only, so I don't know. Gee whiz. <laughs> but if you were taking it for research purposes, how would you take it? I don't remember Lance's question. <laughs> what was his question? Um, 
as a bridge. I was no, told that I should. No, it shuts you down. No, it, it, it shuts you down just like testosterone would shut you down. It shuts your androgen. Your, but I'm talking about if I'm taking, say, Cast and Deca. With it? No, you can take it with it. 20 to 30 help. a day is what I read, but I got great results off 15 a day. You're, you get anything related really to aggressiveness and sex drive? Uh, aggressiveness, not so much sex drive. I think it just. How's your sex drive now? Well, it's good now. I mean, uh, well, you should have. You he's texting me. I don't feel right. What's going on with me? Is everything okay? I forgot how long it takes to kick in. Yeah. So. Said, Give it a couple weeks, man. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Said, on I, the I, third week is like, yep. It's I, always the third I said, week. are you starting to get at least hard on? You're starting to forget frequent hard on? He's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I go, just let it take it, let it take its course, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't have a problem with that before, though, did you? No, but like, it's the, like, last time I was here, like in the mornings, I wouldn't get them. But now it's like you're a kid again, like yeah. a teenager. Yeah. You get to wake, wake up, up hard on. You don't yeah. look like a guy that's going to turn forty this year. I'll tell you that. You got to jump in the shower to take a piss. <laughs> Remember that? No, what was that movie? It's me, myself, and Irene. When Jim Carrey, he, he turns into his alter self. Yeah. Did you ever see that? Movie? Yeah, I did see that. Where he pisses all over the. Yeah, he goes into the bathroom in the morning. He's like pissing against the wall. He's jumping in the shower. That's <laughs> so why you need a piss. Irene, with. did we have sex last night? But I might throw it in with uh, some other things I got, and just I think it'll be a good combo. I think you got to save the trend for your contest. Well, that yeah, I'm not going to touch for a while. What? Which I, one, the Ace or the E? I've only ever done the Ace. How about this guy get some? E, some I don't know. I mean, some GH and some Lanta, some of that long acting insulin that Matt Porter recommends. I'll, uh, oh, you gave out the answer. <laughs> um, long acting. I don't. I don't care what anybody says. Ace is so far superior to an Anthe when it comes to trend. It's not even not, not even comparable. I, I don't know, but I've, I've ran them both, and the results I get from acetate versus an Anthe is yeah, always got great too. great results off the acetate. But you got to hit it so frequently. That's the only problem. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I take propanite, Lenny. I yeah, propanite once you get to that point, day, you know, with what you're taking with, you got to do it. I'm telling you day. what, that homemade stuff that you made, you didn't even filter it. I was so mean on that before that contest. <laughs> I don't want to say. I don't even want to say that some of the things I would. Yeah, do. no, so yeah. Stupid. <laughs> Poor Jason was petrified to come out of the gym. Or I was so. I was just looking. Yeah. Throwing end bombs everywhere I went. <laughs> and nobody said shit. Lenny, you're fucking 6'4", 330 pounds. Yeah, I mean, how many, you know? Anybody, boom. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. yeah well, that's yeah, before yeah, staying your ground. Look, a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people really bullet. don't want to kill anybody. You know what I mean? They're, people don't want to live with, you know, you got to be a special type of individual to want to kill someone. Oh, there are plenty down here But now. no, there, there are, I mean, but I'm saying, but the majority of people don't want to kill people. I mean, it's, it's yeah. a fact. I mean, I had a guy put a fucking shotgun in my stomach and he didn't pull a fucking trigger. Jeez. You know I mean? I think we've all had moments where we could see ourselves killing someone. Yeah, yeah, I mean, thinking and having rage. thoughts are one thing, you know. So how many of us that? had actual guns pointed at our skin? <laughs> Lou, the left side of the table. In my neck by when I was getting my sucked off by a tranny up off Dixie. <laughs> when my window wouldn't work, right in some of those side streets. Bike came by. Yeah, we've heard 30 the story. seconds later. <laughs> the story. I felt like an ice cube. I was getting my dick sucked and she's like, just give me all the money you got. And I gave my 30 bucks. And, she, and then the girl that was sucking my dick, she said, the tranny, you better give it to him. He shall kill both of us. <laughs> and I gave it to him and he got his bike and drove off. And I called the cops and I told them what I was doing. <laughs> and they said, well, we'll come out, you know, to check on you. But you shouldn't be doing that kind of thing. That's what happens. And you're calling us. You should have you turned your car around and ran that motherfucker over. turning yourself in for soliciting prostitution. <laughs> fucking moron. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was in the hood. I'm over here in the hood. And like, Letty tells me all these horror stories. stories. And what did I do at 21? When I, on my way home from GNC on North Lake Boulevard, hit those same streets. And Letty <laughs> said, don't go out there alone, Andrew. Okay, Letty. And I heard you had a nice fling with Tamika. <laughs> in West Palm? Yeah. Dixie Highway. Yeah. Where? Where? Just, just off downtown. Go down go Palm north, Beach Lakes, make north, a left. Yeah, north. on the Dixie Highway, where Good Samaritan is. Go down that road, and then go up on the other road, get onto a uh, Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, just get on damn Tamron. Yeah, I've done that, but it's not. It's too close to the streets. You can get engulfed by, you know, drug dealers and yeah, people that. They, 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 all, they all come running there, boy. Tamika was great. She Remember was that time me and you were hitting the streets? I was driving down the wrong side of the road, and the officer pulled us over. Uh, it's like, what are you guys doing? We thought here? we were fucked. I'm like, oh, I'm tired. We just got off work. <laughs> Never got caught. Never yeah, got busted. The time when we G'd out, they let me go scot free. <laughs> yeah, I've had a cop come up and do this twice. On my window, passed out at stoplights. <laughs> yes, they did. With yeah. me. They took him to some hospital. 
knock out my window. It was two, three in the morning. I don't know where I was. Right. I'm, yeah, so I'm just tired. I'm all, I'm all capped up twice. Once here in Delray, going to the Ave <laughs> to buy more crack, and one time down in Pompano off sample. Yeah. Right on Federal Highway, asleep. Not out of my car. I have a friend of mine got a DUI like that. I fell asleep at a stoplight. The, they, officer, they the officer sat behind him for like four lights and then he got out. Yeah. They, they, they so came, just, just wait. They just came out to my car and knocked on my window. You been doing any drugs or alcohol? No, sir. All right. Well, get your ass home safely. Just fucking let it go. Yeah, that's basically what they did with me. You're a lucky night. I got a confession. Twice, though. Not once. Twice. <laughs> but you weren't drinking. <laughs> Andrew, when you, <laughs> when you passed so you out, when you yeah, were yeah, right. with, what's his face? Sweezle. <laughs> Sweezle, and them, I drove you home in your truck. And I, since I took the opportunity to your truck, I went down to Broward Boulevard <laughs> to one of my 10, 10, 10 <laughs> named Angel, who was half asleep. That actually, I, I did a whole session with her, and she was like half asleep the whole time. I remember... <sighs> For some reason, she's like nodding off, but I grabbed my dick and I grabbed her dick and I jerked us both off at the same time. Oh, and she ended up blowing on me first. When she blew on me, I kept going and used her cum for like a, you a know, I blew a load on her. And she's like, <laughs> great. She was used to sleep. So it came in its sleep and you couldn't. No, it took me later, room. yeah. She came first. She gave him a wet dream. Do, do you still have the Mitsubishi, by the way? <laughs> the Nissan, yeah. The Nissan. Yeah, I still the, have it. Yeah. The, purple, the, the red one. Red I don't know if you saw today's videos. Uh, I saw a couple of them. I did put them up, <laughs> yeah. Because I actually, I'll have to edit it out. If, if well, we it's do. pretty good. He actually, he, I started it by, well, you'll see it. I don't want to spoil it for the main. glad you got him out to the gym. That's good. What'd yeah. you do today? I did legs. I was weak, but you know what? What are you going to do tomorrow? Squatting deep through the chest. Way. Yeah. Tomorrow, chest and caps. Tomorrow, I tell so you what. So you, Jay, and Andrew are all going to do chest and I felt so. I feel so much better getting off those fucking... Di it's not the medication. I don't need the medication. I just need to be smart, like Lou said. In the no orals, like Everybody's yeah. been telling you for the last two fucking years. Now you decide to listen. I was. If I, that's one good thing. I think I would have been dead if I would have cut that. Because my blood was too thick. I mean, I was... So what I do a set and I would like keel over like I just wanted to die. Yeah, the last video I saw you was uh oh my gosh, that one, Texas that Brad because you were two plates you were keeled over that today. One, you looked one, fine. Yeah, yeah. Your that's... wind was way better. I could have put more weight on there. Easy, I could have put three plates. I didn't want to. How was the crowd? This, what time did you guys go? No, it wasn't that bunch big. of cookie cutters. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a couple nice is. girls. A lot nice, of young kids. Nice black girl. Nice girls. Oh, you yeah. guys are going to Boynton tomorrow, tomorrow, right? Boynton tomorrow, yeah. yeah. You're going too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're picking, you're picking him up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're driving down, then going back? Yeah, it's 10 minutes from where I am. I'm right by the highway. You, you living up by me? You're going to lift tomorrow, Andrew? Yeah. yeah. I got to work. Yeah. Oh, that's right, Six. yeah. Oh. You so you do far in advance you'd be working. Yeah, that's why. That's why I, I bumped Any everything. Holiday, that's why I bumped. That's why I bumped everything later. He's like, oh, I'm not going to be making. It. I'm like, what do you mean you're not going to be making it? We'll just make even the winter holidays. You got to work <laughs> yeah. too. What's that? Winter like Christmas, Thanksgiving, everything. New Year's Day, Christmas, country club life, man. That's that's it. It. But Lots you know what? Quality. Being a single guy, yeah, it's almost better, especially if you yeah. don't have any family. I'm not even working, making right. money. Me too. Yeah, you when I did security, of, I volunteered. I have no family here, so what? yeah, I used to work. So, you know, 68 hour, 60, 80 hour weeks with, when I worked, when I was prepping, that's all I did would go to work. Yeah. I wouldn't have any food with me. I would be at Whack and Hut at Broken Sound and Boca. Yeah. And I would be working. At, I was a supervisor when I worked the night shift. I slept all the time anyway. <laughs> that's what I did over yeah, at Office I remember Depot. at the headquarters of Whack and Hut, there's a picture of you all. Yeah, there, Luke. Security yeah, yeah, me and the dog. Yeah. Yep. They actually used that in their advertising and they never paid me for it. What are you going to do with your dogs tomorrow? My dogs are at my wife's. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Going around biting people. Yeah. No. Should save one in case you know who gets out of hand. Jay. <laughs> Turn her loose on Don't you, Jay. Fuck it. <laughs> see, he'd be Jay, in for, Jay will be he, he, He'd be in for a long day if that had. I'd hate to see a that. Long day. <laughs> okay. She's a mean bitch. If she doesn't know, I mean, ask Andrew. She doesn't play. She's not like a. Yeah, she, she'll she, and a dog that size. She she she's in my truck. She was we were in my truck the other day up at the office, and one of my buddies, who's one who's a, a wholesale too, I had the back windows down because she was in the truck, and he came walking up, and I saw him, and I went, and she um she went after him, man. If he was any close to that truck, he would have been. It scared the shit out of him. He said he was scared. I mean, she was like trying to get it like when she she's she's very very territorial and very protective in the first place but when she's in that truck and someone comes up to it man she wants to tear you apart she'll go down the road i'll put the window down in the neighborhood and all she'll do in the neighborhood the whole time is bark to let people know that she's around it's crazy it's, it's like when you see a guy with her job yeah 
like like these guys that you say they have heavy hands like boxers it's the same thing with that dog you could just tell the bite i felt it i mean the power just like that crunching power they're, they're, you can still see a little punching giggling here. Yeah. Oh I didn't really think anything of it. I thought she was playing. I mean, I was yeah. really didn't like crunching. freak out or anything. Oh, yeah, no, but yeah, it was it. like weird. It was like, yeah. the fuck? Yeah. It happened so quick. I was yeah, like, yeah, it happened so quick. You know? Yeah, it was, I mean. Thank God I had her on the leash because it would have been fucking bad. I was looking at the little cat in the garage. The next thing I know, the thing bit me. Yeah. <laughs> and you they, imagine they say gators, like how many times stronger than that? No, well, they're, they're, they at one point, they had the strongest recorded PSI. That's pressure per square inch. That's how they measured the dog's bite. It was like of any seven, dog. Of any dog, yeah, yeah. It was like seven hundred or something like that. Yeah. Wonder where the great white shark is. Ugh. I got bit by a chow once when I was a kid. It left, I still had the scars here. That thing was mean as shit. The dog's name was Clan. <laughs> at one at one time at one time they they, they, they were like one of, they were right up there with uh, like pit bulls for for bites. Yeah. Chows used to be she was a mean yeah. bitch. That dog. <laughs> It's always the females, man. It's funny because when I was a kid, I had a German Shepherd, and she was a mean bitch. She would tear apart other dogs all the time in our neighborhood. And if anybody came, like, I would go everywhere, and the dog would be on my side. And she'd just, like, if people were around me and she didn't know the people, she'd fucking just growl and protect me, you know. It's just great. And so that's why, you know, I, I probably have such a love for dogs. He was my babysitter as I was a kid. And I mean, I was talking, I mean, you wouldn't see kids walking all around town at eight years old and now, you know what I mean? Everywhere, you know? No, 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 shit. It's good thing you got you out of the house today, man. Thank Probably God. to the gym. Me too. Thank God. Well, he came later in the day. Yeah, I was in bad shape, but nice he, What do you out. mean? He came. It's like uh, we, we ran around. We got some stuff done. And... Yeah, it was good. No, I mean, I called him and said, well, I'm going to get a meal in if you want to train. So we did what we had to do. I was definitely planning on getting out at least the very latest tomorrow, but I should have been training all this time. I was just worried that. You know, I'd be Nothing off. would happen. I'd be worried that and I wouldn't have any money for food or juice. And at my own point, you know, he used to do the totally same thing when he was living with the Nelsons when we first started training and yeah. come out like moping out of the house. I'm estrogen soaked. I said, "Get in the car, Lenny. We're yeah, gonna, he, I'm gonna break he, some records." Every tonight. time I go get him, man, he's he's got like five fucking excuses of why he can't. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not taking no for an answer. He finally said, "Okay." <laughs> well, at least I'm not sluggish. I mean, that was bad. Yeah. So I, I we we bought two. One prime rib that was like six and a half pounds, that one was like five and a half pounds. We wow. have 12 pounds of beef for tomorrow. So what happens if we get the torrential downpours tomorrow? We eat inside. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, you can cook outside on a grill. You like that? Have, have my, it's covered anyway. Yeah. You yeah. like that yeah. medium rare too, like pink on the inside? I'll, I'll keep one of them in longer for the people that don't like it as rare, you know. Let it well, whoever doesn't like it as rare, just take the end. What end? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I can make one less rare than the end. I understand Mighty Mike Quinn should be there. Mighty Mike Quinn's going to be there. Six of the Mr. Asked. Olympia in the 80s. I asked him to come. Google them, maniacs. Very <laughs> crazy individual. Queen. Big reputation. We're going to have all sorts of stars there. Lobster, remember the story? Lobster Boy? Let's see who shows up. Past and present. Oh, boy. You doubt know who's going to show up now? Oh, Jason. Jay. Oh. They can be oh. flaky. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the female entertainment. Brad, are you ready for that female entertainment? That's the <laughs> And a certain somebody YouTube celebrity for his eating prowess. If he brings his girl, she's fair game. I think yeah. you know what you're talking any, about. Any, any woman that's in my house is, is up for it. That's rooms. right. I, I don't think, care who it is. I think, I, think think she's all, I think we talked her on a common room. No, I think she's all for I it. I think she's intrigued. Oh, yeah. I, I get the impression right she's intrigued. Yeah. I get the impression nothing would surprise her. I'm going to pull her right in my bedroom. And she's curious. Just, so you come with me. Well, she so, can at least. I'll see. You. Nate wants to bring his girlfriend to the fucking. It's like bringing to fucking ocean. Bringing water to the ocean. <laughs> at the very least, I should, you know, get off on having her watch, you know. She ain't gonna watch. She's gonna suck my dick and take it in the ass. <laughs> I'll send him your address later when we get out. So, what time are you leaving on Tuesday? Early. The flight leaves oh, at eight thirty. Yeah, I'll be. That sucks. He staggering he, he, into he, the he airport, all the car, and, You know, he didn't have a car and all kinds of stuff. So walk of shame. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll have a smile from ear to ear. Yeah. What are you talking about? Dude hasn't busted nothing in six years. Looking at people like uh, people knew what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> like the little innocent girl at Publix. What are you guys doing? Oh, we're having a big party. We're having a high no. stakes poker game I tomorrow. Said poker, yeah. <laughs> I'm, we're having a poker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then the old lady at the register starts talking about some. Oh yeah, my. my my nephew, he plays poker and this and that. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the food. I mean, yeah. I, I'm only making a few. I'm doing the prime rib. Where you're going to bring the mac and cheese. Yeah, we'll do I'm the potato. Put, and I'm going to do salad. Out. And that's going to be it. Man. Gonna, cheeseburger mac and cheese. Oh, nice. I'll put uh, red meat in Nice. Lenny was telling me what a good cook you are. Yeah, oh, I have to be. I got three kids and I, two, two exes that didn't know how to cook to save their fucking life. So. What about your old lady now? Does she cook? Not much. No. no. 
And then, oh, you know what I did? I bought a couple boxes of brownies that I'll throw in the oven, you know, to get cooked right. so the house smells like brownies, get the girls, because that'll you know, smell of chocolate. Plenty of stuff to baby bird you with, Lenny, in other words. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, yeah, we can get that done, I'm sure. Right? Steak, yeah. brownies, yeah. mac and cheese. Let's I'll do that. Add some Yo, you, you got something? Can you got something? I will. <laughs> I'll just... <laughs> I won't consume. <laughs> Lenny and, and I hear Lenny and Andrew have their treats for tomorrow. They're gonna blow it and they're gonna not even get hard and fucking <laughs> not even bust the nut. Yeah, I, I gave Lenny the okay. It's gonna it's gonna wreck their night. What's up with? Yeah, we'll talk about everything else. Never tried that. <laughs> Should we go back and get the jungle juice? <laughs> <laughs> Three for something or another. That's got to be what it is. <laughs> Kool Aid and a fucking. I'm gonna That's take my like usual sure. stuff tonight and really read up on it. Yeah, I mean, I just skimmed through. I didn't read anything in detail, so I don't know what it that is. That was at the adult store? Yeah. But I, I don't know. It was just strange, and the guy didn't want to tell us anything, understandably, but three for 45 bucks, these little vials. When he says, hey, you know, it's good. Yeah. It's because it's a cleaner. What yeah. is that was what it was. I mean, so it right. might be. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but and, and, and he's in business there. You what know, he's he giving you bullshit yelling? that you'll be there the next I just day. skimmed through the couple of the, the things that popped up. Can't be. It's a liquid. But I didn't really. Yeah. Uh, and it's similar to the Potion 9 for what they used to sell. I mean, it might be. That might be what it is. And it said butyrate, didn't it? That's. Well, the, the cleaners were GBL precursor to GHB. What else could it be when they say it's a cleaner? Yeah. Windex. Did you see exactly. him? Yeah. I thought I heard something. The Cleveland Cavs Celtics game, Lenny. Oh, yeah. Which oh, one? Game seven? Yeah. Game seven, yeah. yeah game seven. Let's see. Never heard of it. Could care less. <laughs> Your boy's playing in it. The guy you love. Never Great heard figure. Of it. Yeah. Game seven for Houston and uh, Golden State. You can put it on Netflix. Oh, TV please don't. Don't torture me. Who the fuck would want to watch the Celtics? In? Unless Larry Bird's still playing, I'm not interested. There you go. No, the Cavs. The Cavs. What did you say? Rockets? Houston, Houston against the Celtics. No, it's the Cavs. Clearly no, not, but I'm saying oh. in the finals. Oh, please Everybody don't. Wants to see that. Everybody wants oh, to see the goals. league would hate that if yeah. that was the finals. It's fucking, yeah, they won the Raiders Curry would, James. Exactly. Well, they're probably not going to get Clutter's it. The disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I can't. If, if I don't the Celtics, like the Celtics blow that 3 1. They were up 3 1, right? Yeah, actually, they were. Right. Let's talk hockey. Oops. I'd rather talk hockey than that. So, you're right, Vegas. What, what Vegas looks like they, they might do it, man. Oh, the hockey, yeah, 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 the hockey, yeah. First year First team. First year team won the Stanley Cup. I told him, he's like, what? How's that possible? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's done. unprecedented in no other sport yeah. as far as I know. Well, didn't the, didn't the, Mar didn't the Marlins come close that first yeah. season one? A couple years. Maybe their third season. Well, 97, they did win. That's when they had a the Jaguars, I think, within a couple years. Yeah, the Jaguars the they did pretty yeah. well, too. Yeah. And the Panthers, I think, within five years, they, they did pretty well. But to go to Good the Good old finals, Tom Coughlin. Yeah. My buddy, the... Uh, my buddy played the linebacker. And isn't Tom Coughlin back with the organization? So he's he's the president. Or, yeah, he's oh, no. a GM. Boy, he's that's a great office. coach right there. He never gets any credit. Run him out of New York. Real smart. You're not he just, too old. It's just, it's just, but it's, his time was is, was done there. You I know? don't know. Just give him. You don't want to get rid of a guy like that. I, just I've, like Dick LeBeau. He can go on forever. Yeah, Marvin Lewis, too. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Has some job security he has. Oh, and seven in the playoffs because he's a you know what? That's why, yeah. A you know what? Uh, shit. What, 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 are the, what, are the, what are the maniacs saying, by the way? Yeah, any, any, uh, see if you have any questions. Yeah. We had some Haitian good man. Was that good? Yeah, it was Where'd good. Excel. Excel was really good. Oh, over there on good Clint, Clint, uh, Clint All right, so yeah, I, I asked you to deliver the mail there. I asked Jay, uh, it's like. Fucking it doesn't smell good. Smells like a goat's ass in there. They cook goat. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking disgusting. I was like, you're, hold on one second. You're missing the podcast. Good. I'm watching TV in bed growing while Calora shrinks. That's exactly what I was about to read. Someone asked, how, oh, does, how does Calora feel about Fat Jay talking shit? <laughs> Well, you can watch oh. our episodes once he yeah. downloads them yeah. and you'll find out. Believe me. I told Jay I don't bench with guys 300 plus unless they are 600 pound raw benchers, so that disqualifies him tomorrow. He's laying in bed growing. What are you watching, Jay? <laughs> He's in that fucking homing in. That's a depressing place. Yeah. They Although probably, I did see a, I don't know probably, if it was a they, probably, they probably still have beds that you put the quarters in the fucking thing. Shoot. I saw bed a big blonde galore. in high heels, made her over six feet tall. Tons of makeup. She had half her head shaved, her hair long, and a ponytail down the back, oh, real God. sexy like. And she had tattoos 
like Bam Bam Bigelow on the sides of her head. I think it was a tranny, but she was rocking around them stilettos. That's the day I went with that one girl. And then the cleaning lady came in and we just left the door open. We were going at it. That was great. <laughs> You asked her to come in and slap your ass, right? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give you 20 bucks, come slap my ass. Are there going to be a chance of package deal, package uh, deal tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, that, I, hopefully the gym's not packed tomorrow. It's only open. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. It's just take it over. It's going to be a matter. There's some fucking faggot there the other morning. I'm going to kill him. He had his phone on the, everywhere he went. Him and his little flat-chested girlfriend. I think his girlfriend had a bigger chest than him. I mean, as far as muscle-wise, she looked like a... I mean, she, she had a good body, but no tits. And he had, like, kind of a bird chest. There's a lot of dudes. It's the same his scene, he's like... playing his fucking rap music on yeah. his phone while the other shit music... Put your headphones on. Well, we saw Jason tonight. Everybody's Wonder, like him on their phones. Huh? Wonder, Nobody's doing any work. No. What's that, Jason? We saw him, yeah, but all those kids in there look around. Everybody's on their phone or, like, laying on a bench. I mean, I like to keep moving. Even though I'm doing a decent amount of weight, I like to, you know, keep the pace. Yeah, he did 12 chin-ups after Barbo was went right at him. Oh, yeah. Rent the bar, too. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Smith machine. <laughs> <laughs> did some so poses. Good Smith machine. Uh, he I, grabbed the Smith bar and started chinning yeah, off that. Lash all the way on top. <laughs> I don't know why. They had another bar there. Just... <laughs> if you're short enough, yeah, you could do that. <laughs> I like to see Dale do something similar. I could. I really I don't think I could do a single pull up because of my shoulder. Yeah, my biceps too. Forget see, it. See, I don't have that. My shoulder's fucked up, but I don't have any problem pulling. It's just not good. pushing everything, every direction. Now it's just. I don't know what the it's fuck. It's just getting is. worse and worse. I'm like maybe an overuse injury. Oh well, yeah, yeah. rotator somewhere. Yeah, so, yeah one of your rotators. switch the movements. Yeah, I mean retract your shoulder blades when you're on the bench. If that's what. Yes, yeah, yeah, I don't do that. Yeah. That's why I fucked up. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna show you. Is just I would stop here. That's right. Yeah. Stop all your movements. Yeah. Stop, stop all your movements you, gotta, you know pull yeah. back like you're and it should make you move all the way too. I've been doing something amazingly. I didn't do it on a six fifty bench. I was just like flat, and I was able you're to on do your tiptoes. Yeah, so you no, even, that no was technique. ridiculous. You were just pure all arms upper and body. Chest. Yeah. Yeah. That, that hot chick tonight, that thick broad, she had better form than me. She was arching her back. Yeah, but I didn't do anything. Nobody. Should, I never had a. Uh, proper coaching on bench press, like Jay knows all the you know the little tricks or whatever. But you did yeah. six fifty raw, yeah. not even a wrist wrap. Yeah. I call it one of the best benches in the history of the world. It was so top ten, right? Did you see yeah. Lavrone's video? It said five hundred raw. He's got knee, knee wraps over his elbows. Yeah. He's got a belt on. He's got wrist wraps and no pause, and they're calling that raw. Those things help. I mean, don't a lot. get me wrong; he's impressive, but that's not raw to me. No. Raw is nothing. They call, they ever get called that the Iron Man division. Yeah. That, Actually, you're the Iron Man world record holder. I mean, ra wrapping your elbows gives you it springs you up. Springs up, yeah. Yeah. Jay yeah. 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 Master says it's, it's called Iron Man. Belt though, he's always got a belt though. Mm -hmm. That sounds a lot better. Right. I, got, I don't even think he needs. I don't need that. I walked into the gym. I'm trying to find him. I couldn't find him. He goes. I just got done squatting 455 for six. <laughs> ooh, <laughs> yeah, wow, so wow, we're all impressive. I, I saw, and I, and I, a hundred, but ooh, we're real impressive, Jay. <laughs> he was soaked with sweat. I go, yeah, and you sweat all that beer out of you, too. You, 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 he keeps going back to the four day thing. Andrew, you used to front squat 405 for 10. <laughs> yeah, free contest. Tell him that. <laughs> no belt, no nothing. That was an awful feeling. Like you were yeah, getting front choked. squats aren't fun. I don't really enjoy those things. I'm a fucking waste. Yeah, I used to drop. I don't. I don't, Jay, I don't comprehend why people do. Jay this. plays the age card. Well, I'm 49. Yeah, but I mean, too. we're all up in that. Yeah. He's just a little. I'm bit not older. a spring chicken. Yeah. Be friggin' 40 years old. <laughs> they say for girls, that's the best way to develop your ass is front squats for some reason. Oh, is that really? Yeah. But I um, I uh, I was I was a hell of a lot better at 44 than I'm at 49 though. I'll tell you that, man. Thank you for the drop off. Oh, you know what? Me too. It's horrendous. Me too. I competed at 44. I, I competed. I tore my rotator cuff. I still trained through it. Um, I mean, I remember being miserable, but not like I'm miserable today. I've got so many problems physically. It's, How's your knee, by the way? It's not good. I see you're having problems with it. My diet, yeah, I'm, I'm sticking to my diet. I was, I started, weight started coming off, but I know I had to stop doing cardio. And mm. it's just like, I'm just getting a little sidetracked. I'm seeing a doctor on June 6th. So I'll probably go for an MRI, hopefully, you know, because I don't want to. You doing a GH? Of course. When you tore your rotator cuff, was it wear and tear, or did you feel it pop? No, I felt that bitch pop. I told a story here that one. Oh, I was at World's Gym in Boca when I was curling. It was the first time. Yeah, and I looked over, and both the heads popped right out. Did you have to get surgery? Yeah, I was totally that was blown. Not horrible. Tear. You know, people say, oh, I, I, I had a torn rotator cuff. It wasn't a bad surgery. Yeah, because they went in there, orthopod orthopod 
microscopically and stitched it up. You didn't have a full blown head. Yeah. Like two, both of them, two of my heads were like detached, <laughs> no longer detached, like detached and rolled back into my, you know, into my freaking back. That's a long rehab too. Yeah. Oh, it was miserable. Arms in a sling for like two yeah. months. Yeah. There was a guy up in my gym. He's for, I swear over a month, he had his arm in a sling. That's all. He couldn't do shit. I was like, God, but that, that won't happen to me. But I'll tell you what, I mean, if, if you are, if you have a small tear, it's smart to get it stitched up for the simple fact that it doesn't get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> I remember. How far back he stand at this point. <laughs> and I know he don't got no big dick. <laughs> uh, so yeah, man. I, you know, people say though. I mean, I've, I've known people that have had the small, you know, the, yeah. the surgeries where they've had, you know, just tears stitched back up, and they've been able to rebound right back, you know. But f fully blown tendons is not good. <laughs> I don't feel like it's that bad, but I can't. You probably have a tear or an impingement in it. Impingement. Yeah. But I'm things. telling you, yeah, it I, takes like fucking two. I should have grabbed. A, I should have. I should have grabbed some of those when we were at my shop. I should have yeah. grabbed them for him, but I wasn't thinking. I just thought about grabbing this shirt for you and for Jay. I live closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I might, I might, I might, I might have some at your at my house. Do it yeah, 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 I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. Show you tomorrow. Oh yeah, we're we gonna talk crypto tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. time's the seminar? Sent me that that app for that. What well, time's the seminar? Yeah. We'll show up, you know, I mean, we just sit down. What's uh mining? I was reading up on it. What's the What is that? That's not mine. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Yeah. No. I, I said Binance is one of my use. Oh, that's not it? I don't think so, no. Okay. Thank God we didn't get used it. There's so many damn hacker sites out there that'll try to delete that shit. Yeah. 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 Careful. <laughs> well, I mean I would have known anyway. I'll just yeah. give you the money and you can do <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah, I'll you show you. Use it to go on one of your crack vendors and be yeah, I've got enough of my own money to do that for a long time. <laughs> Might not be dead. <laughs> I almost killed myself last time. How was the pee, Lenny? Relief. Man. What are you thinking about? This feels so good when you're pissing. Don't you like that? Yeah, it's not that. Yeah, just I feel so much better getting off that that Diana and uh, off the medications too. I don't need that shit. I, Lenny, I honestly think if you if you did some made some changes, I think you'd be really really impressed. But you don't want to listen. I am. I'm on the uh, lower dose. Uh, I plan on doing. Okay, well, what's your lower dose, Lenny? I plan on doing. Two cc's of T400 twice a week, mixed with a cc of uh, so 800. Okay, 16. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's like almost in half, and then maybe I'll go into the a 1600. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I thought he said two. That's a lot. Oh, yeah, but that's yeah, good yeah, yeah. for a guy my size. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Once you take out the D ball, the one I'm used to, and I tell you what, I feel a thousand times better. But do you think all that testosterone that you take absorbs into your body? Lenny, how long have you that's been running? How long have you been running that for? Just uh, uh, do you think your receptors could be burnt out? Well, I was off when I was hospitalized. So that's not an, Lenny. You were in the hospital for how long? Two weeks. What's yeah. the half life of the drugs, Lenny? Two fucking weeks. I mean, come on. Yeah, sixteen days in some yeah. cases. Yeah, you know. I mean, come on. It's still in your system. It's not out of your system. That's when people. That's the biggest. That's the biggest. You know, mistake when people do when they when they do their PCT. They're still fucking on and they're doing a, a PCT. They don't wait for the steroids to exit their body. The steroids are still in their body and they start the PCT. Let this stuff exit your body, then start your PCT. Let your own testosterone kick back in before you start your PCT. You know, people just. Get back at the open. Let's start my PCT. I just stopped taking my test yesterday. Why? So Why? How long should you wait? Well, you got you've got to do the math. Say a drug's half life is twelve days. You're taking five hundred milligrams a week. Twelve days later would be twenty five. Twelve days days after that would be. I mean, excuse me, five hundred, two fifty, one twenty five, seventy five. You know, four to six weeks. You ever watch any of that guy? He's on YouTube, British a, guy Jordan Peters. Yes, he's, he's very informative. Face, yeah, oh yeah, Jesus. he's pretty good pretty with these strong. Too. Yeah, yeah, he's with BSN. Redcon, Redcon, like yeah, but he's pretty informative with stuff like that. Like just like you said, that's how you need to do it. Yeah, yeah. people yeah. think they're off. They hit, take a shot a week later. Oh, I'm off. Yeah. No, you're not. No, it's still it's in your system. system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you ever seen the UC flight? <laughs> Dave Crossland. Yeah, the big guy with the beard. What happened to him? He had like leprosy. Looked like or a pizza. Yeah, yeah. He had, I think it was kidney failure because he wasn't drinking water. But yeah, he was supposedly did it. Was going to do a 500 some pound press behind the neck. And he's good on the odd lifts, and he's very massive. But to hear him talk with that accent is pretty funny. He was taking like two grams of Tran a week or whatever. The most I did was 400 a week. I was a CC every other day, I think. Uh, Tran? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Probably, I probably was up there at that point doing acetate. Yeah, I like you the know? acetate master on propionate pre-contest. I, 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 will, I will say this, though. Like, the higher doses, medically, like, like for aches and pains, is, is far better than the low dose. Like, I know... If I was taking two grams of test a week right now, 
my shoulder wouldn't bother, be bothering me, my leg wouldn't be bothering me as much. The pain reduction would be a lot would be a lot greater because of the um, you know anti you know the, the inflammatory yeah, yeah, lubrication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think for a guy my size or how big I want to be, I think I hit the golden spot now. It was just in your ad and all that. I mean, I was taking a hell of a lot of shit when you look at that D ball. That's an insane Yeah, I think amount. you should do this. I think you should. And are you willing to do this? Are you willing to take a willing to take a challenge on with me? Sure. I think. And and and, and here's the most important thing, first and foremost, so people don't get confused about all this. The most important thing is putting the fuel into the muscle and eating on a regular basis. He's got no right. problem with eating. Well, but I'm just saying, just for the viewers and listeners, you know. But go ahead and run your your cycle for for eight weeks, right? Yeah. And then let me incorporate a cycle in for you for eight weeks. Fine. Right. As long as you stick to the same diet on both yeah. sides. You know what I mean? Sounds good. And I, I think I think you're going to be pretty surprised with the results. Sure. You know, I, and, and you'll be, oh, I can't do that little. I can't do that little. I mean, I'm not going to totally cut you out, like make you go to like TRT doses. I'll keep you about TRT doses. Hey, I'm but, rather, I'm more scared of possibly having my food cut than my doses cut. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think, I think, I, I think your body. <laughs> <laughs> what was that little hand you signal? See it, Andrew. Right? Now you can see it for yourself. <laughs> I saw his little hand signal. <laughs> it's a matter, Leonard. Yeah. 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 Well, you have a prescription for that? Yeah. <laughs> this is just tobacco. I wrote it for him. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm not, even, I'm not a connoisseur of that shit. You never tried it before? Oh, I used to be a come on, dude. <laughs> 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 It's the gateway drug. I mean, yeah. Yeah. seventh grade to ninth grade. The gateway drug is cigarettes. If you'll smoke a cigarette, you'll smoke weed. I yeah. smoke cigarettes before I smoke weed. If you smoke, smoke a cigarette, weed. you'll I'll suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> smoke a man's pole. dick. Yeah, man's dick. I did weed before cigarettes. My whole yeah. freshman year, I was stoned every day. I would go into class, Mr. DeRose. In high school? In high school, so stoned. And then, you know, I was... You know, I was playing football, and I said to myself, you know, I got to stop smoking this shit if I want to, you know, excel. G <laughs> is my favorite thing of stopped. all times. I mean, I haven't tried a whole gamut of things, but G is by far. Thanks. But also the most dangerous, unfortunately. It can well, be. Well, if those are what he says they are that you have for tomorrow, you'll you'll be loving it. What? The, the little things that Andrew brought you. Oh, really? Yeah. If they're legit, if, you, if, they, if they're what he says they are. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What time should they be taken? Uh, you know, doctor, like, I don't know. If you watch them, they chew them, they kick him pretty quick. Yeah, you want to do, how long are they going to last? Eddie right Jill, Eddie really raved about it, so. Yeah. Two hours, I think look, four look, hours. I, last. Here's you got enough fentanyl, too? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say this. I brought some. I took some today. Good I'm going to say this. Not okay. really. If, if, if you want to sacrifice busting yeah. a nut, take it. If you want to bust a nut, don't take it. Yeah. I want to mentally bust a nut. What if you live really focused on, on busting a nut? Can uh, you do you it? You might on? have to work a long time. Why? Was it do something with the prolactin in your body? Not, no. I just, the Fenibut does that. Hard on that. It's hard to really? bust That's what I said. I said I heard that's the case. I don't want that yeah, shit. Yeah, but he probably wasn't drinking tons of Cialis or uh, Viagra. Tons of Cialis. Yeah, so you Superman. You'll have access to that. You'll have access, you have access to, to the, the, the papaverin. Oh, yeah, of course. It's in the freezer. Always. The Trimix. Can I try it? <laughs> yep. I never <laughs> tried it before. I think I no shit. may need Although I took a lot of Cialis. I took two before the workout. I don't, I'm not going to take any more because it has a long I'm not handling any penises. I'll show you how to correctly do it, though. It's it's in the groin, right? It's right in the penis. The Trimix? Yeah. You well, did maybe the, it didn't work because I didn't have anybody fuck? around. You injected, <laughs> you your dick? You injected yeah. in your coal? I thought it was no. in the groin. No, base of your dick. The base of your dick, you uh, no. Yeah, but it's in the very top part, so it's base. Not... The base, not the, what, the head. The base, the bottom. Well, the, that, the root. well, that J administer that. <laughs> I mean, I'll show you how the to top do. or the bottom. The base, the bottom, the closest to your dick. body. What the, the helmet? That's why. Oh, base. You, you put it in the head of your dick? Is? No, I went in the top. What do you mean the top? Like from here, not underneath. No, the base. Yeah, well, no, the top. Yeah, the top of yeah. Top right right where, where it hits into your base. groin, right? Not, not between, where it meets your not pelvis. Not between your dick and balls, above your dick. Right, yeah, right where it meets your pelvis. So it's the groin almost. <laughs> well, I did oh, it, the yeah. Groin. The groin is over here the on the groin, side. Yeah, but right here where the penis starts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's nothing. <laughs> where the penis Well, I didn't have anybody around, well, so well, maybe well, it's Yeah, I mean, you probably didn't. You have to really yeah no wonder I did. You for the first time i did it i was like i don't see anything then i did it again and i was but like, no, they're, they're, you have to hear a pop it has to pop into the what do you call it oh fuck it that. went into the tissue whatever no 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 no. it's got to go past that into <laughs> where you're uh there's like two 
uh, carnival. Uh, How fast does it kick what's in? Word? Right away. And what does this drug do? Traffic makes your dick hard. How about this? Have time. the girls administer it because it comes you in know, right he's away. Dick hard, a naked girl. Uh, yeah, a, hot, a ten. A ten. Yeah, but, but this we're, you, we're talking about. He's yeah. This is going to ensure that you get a hard on if you're high. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. <laughs> No, I'll be fine. Um, yeah. Don't I mean, no, this, but Lou, you had a bad experience with Papaverin. Did you just talk about it on one podcast? I mean, I'm, I'm, giving, I'm divulging a lot of stuff we about my book today. You know what I mean? I just, I, yeah, they're not going to buy the book. If you, no, it's not, I'm not worried about buying the book. I just want someone stealing my fucking ideas and making a movie. Wow, this guy is pretty How long did <laughs> How long does Steven Spielberg? Because I act like they got this fucking movie coming out. Tag. My life was fucking a thousand times better than that fucking shit. Tag. Grown ass men fucking playing tag their whole fucking life. What the fuck? Is that a true? How long do those things take to kick story? in? <laughs> I mean, how long do they take to kick in? Depends. Sometimes thirty minutes. Sometimes up yeah. to an hour. I mean, but how long is it gonna last? Depends. Would you say? I love how everyone looks at Brad. <laughs> Every time someone asks one of these questions, everyone just looks at Brad. I'm right, an illegal <laughs> substance. Yeah, it's, yeah. Form, right? it's like four hours. I didn't get anything. So it's got to be four done. This guy. Does it matter? Did it matter more with the uh, food in the stomach or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, that'll slow it down. Yeah. Last Wonder time I went to see was last. Was Maybe we should eat earlier then. You just wait till your digest. I can't eat earlier. What do you mean? I'm the one kicking the fucking food. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I've eaten, you, you, you know, I would, I mean, you, your best bet would probably take it maybe 20 minutes before we eat, so it doesn't, then you can eat, and then it'll. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. It's good. Idea. So it's be, better than water, you say? They're two different, two different things. They're great in combination together. Yeah. I remember one time when I was with uh, Lisa Maxwell, I don't give a shit about this one. <laughs> all, well, actually, this is, this is a crazy story, but I'm not going to tell. But anyways, I remember we were, I was on her apartment floor in a fetal position, just laying in a ball. I'm like, oh my God, I feel so fucking good. <laughs> in a fetal I, position? I fucking, I'm in fucking ecstasy and GHB. I was, I, was like, I, was like, I was like, I felt like an angel, man. It was so fucking crazy how good I felt. Well, the best times I ever felt I was, was like, right after this year's Ruby when I took some Kratom, liquid Kratom at the show. With the E I took on early in the day. and Three samples. It felt incredible. <laughs> incredible. Oh, my God. It, like, I was actually it, making phone calls real quick before. Oh, man. Incredible. Uh, sorry. I, I, I'm thinking, why is this illegal? You know? I didn't want to hurt a fly. Mm -hmm. I took ecstasy when I went. I, went I, had a, I had somebody come from California. I took ecstasy at a legal. And I got And he was with his wife. He's like, are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? <laughs> They were they started blowing up like like a half hour a half hour ahead of me and like he's like are you feeling it I'm like dude I don't feel nothing bro this shit's I'm thinking to myself this shit's bunk this shit's bunk so he used like, to say that on the G all the yeah. time and then I'd I kick in I, then, then I took the <laughs> second one and then five minutes later it fucking crushed me out was like holy shit we blowing up blowing fucking up is not even the term I was fucking blowing apart <laughs> but Brad do you oh, think that dosage will be good enough for uh, yeah sure okay uh. the guy said it was the best Brad's ever. the go to <laughs> Huh? The guy said it was the best ever. I don't know. Best ever. How can you say best ever? You gotta kind of see no, it. If you've tried everything, you can say the best ever. I have no idea. I haven't done that shit in the longest time. Why? Because I. Go 11 and like it too. <laughs> that is fucking great. You've done it almost 20 years. Really? Wow. Uh, Last time I did it, I lived out in Vegas. You'd go to the clubs, and mm -hmm. I would. As soon as I would start blowing up, then I would eat another one. And yeah. another one. King Kamali said he ate 40 over a 24 hour. The sun's coming up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 mean, they get to the point eat. where if you eat and you stop, they stop He's working. He's in his 50s. He looks pretty good to me. He's pretty fucking big. I started shooting him. Pretty massive. Yeah. Who's that? King Kamali. Oh. So he took 20 yeah. summon at 40 some in a 24 hour period once. I took 20 the first night out. I was at Baja. Wow. Couldn't stop eating. In Fort Lauderdale? Yeah, it felt so fucking good. And that was in like whatever, six hours. <laughs> My buddy's like, give me those things before you die. Vicks <laughs> vapor. Oh, yeah. But Vicks, I mean, this was even what? This was like when I first started rolling. I mean, I, you know, we didn't, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what it makes it. It does all the man. best thing to get when you're on that shit is a good massage. Just you just got to focus on your body and how your body feels like really, really. It, it, it almost has like kind of an opiate type thing. But like if you get into the body roll rather than the mind roll. You want to just sit there and have a girl touch you, and you'll be like, "Oh, this feels so good." Yeah. You can have that muscular girl do it to you. <laughs> no, Jay, the muscular milk. Jay's, Jay's claiming her. Lou's place will turn into a rub and tug. <laughs> Believe it when I see it. Believe it when I see it. 
Well, you, you don't think Jay's an admission. You don't, <laughs> Jay's kind of unpredictable. You don't know how his moods are. He's very what they call bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> his mood swings are like off the charts gosh I hope he's in a good mood tomorrow I don't want to have an Oprah party shit what do you mean he should be in a good mood well, because we'll we'll be on what if he was like he was at the Halloween party just let him out lift you he'll be in a good mood yeah no pet tears yeah. tomorrow. No still oh, no stuff. Uh, that's why I'm just like a get caught up him, max it out or yeah, don't fall into that. do a workout do a workout that's it it's very competitive Jay's like that yeah what's good yeah for what at this age? Yeah, uh, no need. No, he's got a lot of fans that like the strength. If I see younger guys in the gym, I'm still lifting more than them. But even if they are lifting more, it's just outwork them, be more intense, which I do. But as far more as meticulous out, with the meals yeah, at this age. More dedicated. Food, more. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Yeah, it's all food about is avoiding injury. At this yeah, point. I do. Like I said, pre-exhaust. And I'll still be moving a decent amount of weight when I'm like warmed up, lubricated, and then I'm going into the compound stuff. So, so what is it? It's going to be eleven o'clock tomorrow morning. That's the I don't whatever works for everybody else. Don't matter to me. You say you're going to be ready at ten or something, Jay? Then I can be ready any time because most likely I start on the job. I could be getting up at four or five in the morning. So I'm going to get used to it. You know. Well, I'm not Besides, training I'm not that early. I don't know about you. But I'm not training that early. Eleven's probably good. That's probably a safe. Because uh, I want to be home. I got to you know I got to start getting shit ready. And what do you need help with? Not much, man. I'm just throwing those on the grill. I'm making a salad, and, and Eric's making his potatoes for me, and you're bringing the mac and cheese. I'm not going to do any desserts other than the brownies. I'll just throw a tray of little thing, mix a couple brownie mix together, throw that in the oven. If people want some dessert, I'm not going crazy on the dessert because I think we're going to have other... Whip, whipped cream in the ass cracks. Are we going to have uh, footage, <laughs> Delray Misfits episode, the, maybe the final episode with Lenny in town? <laughs> <laughs> with Lenny and down. <laughs> with Lenny and Del Rey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, tell you what, I'm, I'm going to miss it. I mean, I do miss the hospital. Well, I'm not going to want to talk about that right now. Hey, getting a promotion isn't a bad thing. Yeah. You're going to become a porn star anyways, Lenny. A sexual fantasy reality show. <laughs> <laughs> My master Batoriums come to life. <laughs> master <Bittorium. laughs> I'm big. I'm big on the baby birds. The baby birding. And even like in a public scene where, say, I'm at Walmart and we're shopping, and <laughs> she just starts baby bird me in the store in front of other people because I say I need my meal. You know, I'm a bodybuilder, and I'll have her like Drop to the floor. Yeah, I eat something and spit in my mouth. Adult diapers, right? So I don't have to chew. He's great to go to the store anywhere with. He hits on every fucking chick that you see. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> You're a ten. That's Mike T's favorite. What did you say to that Haitian girl with the wig when we were walking out of the store? Said, the other whoa, night. you look good. So does my husband. My husband thinks so too. She said, <laughs> yeah, "You don't look that good, you little bitch." Cookie she looked- cutter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up, guys. I'm going to... Here you go. Yeah, we're training at 11. I'm an old man. I'm going to get some sleep. Now you're 18 forever. Come on, think positive. I, I do think positive, but I live in reality. <laughs> Just real, real quick, i got to give a shout out to a great fan, Chad Ladd from the UK. He's a devout follower of ours. So. Chad Ladd. Hey, Chad. <laughs> He's going to be starting his cutting soon, so I might give him some pointers on... Uh, Is he competing? I think so. I think he wants to, yeah. I think he's a rugby player. They're tough. And, of course, my sponsor, New World Nutrition. Thanks for everything. I'll need you more than ever. And I appreciate (laughs) all you've done. And Maniacs, that's the easiest digesting, top-quality protein you can get. Liver cleansers, different types of protein. For hardcore lifting, none of this frilly. It is good shit. It does. It mixes well, too. It is. So thanks again, New World Nutrition. I'm going to give a shout-out to Stash Co. I'm going to get fucking you guys more beard oil thanks you use yours yet andrew you have you ever used beard oil yeah not theirs though i should uh, try some i'll bring you a bottle tomorrow it's good I like it gets the fucking danger now you like when you're wearing a black shirt and you do this and yeah like, who trimmed your beard i did looks pretty impressive yeah you look better with it yeah sure he does. yeah i told him that too it looks better clean you look more healthy doesn't he yeah. it? it looks like what he took improved his health <laughs> Doesn't Steroids look like, do a body good. Doesn't look like a guy with hormones. Deca. Doesn't look, look like Deca a guy with 40. You said you did Deca? Deca dick? No, I mean, if you Is keep... Is that where you get a limp dick? Deca. You can, or even trend. I mean, any too much of anabolics and, you know... Like in contrast to androgens, you can, but if you keep it. But then again, trend's tricky. It's an androgen. Yeah, trend. That's I don't know if trend I did. Well, I was like a fucking animal. Really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You're what? Ready to fuck all. Quick question. You're going to be an animal tomorrow, Brad. <laughs> Come on, Brad. Quick question. (laughs) 
I'm an animal every day, Leonard. Quick question, Brad. Everyone wants to know: Are you going to be an animal tomorrow? <laughs> You're avoiding the You're question. Like a fucking thirteen-year-old kid. You guys in your fucking group text too. Every goddamn minute, my my phone's going off with fuck. I looked last night at twenty-one messages. <laughs> Yeah, no. I told Andrew there are like three Yentas in a sewing circle. You, Jay, and Lou, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm at work. I just pushed my phone all the way to the side. I couldn't even keep up. Jay, he called me and he asked me if I read something. I'm like, dude, I, I saw, I looked at like three of them. I couldn't anymore. I couldn't follow. <laughs> Uh, it is pretty fucking funny though. If I'm off though, if I'm working, yeah, I usually, you know, it's like a response or two, but I was off yesterday, so. <laughs> They, yeah, the first hypers. I heard those are really good. Yeah, that's they blow the hyper machine away. Wow, good for speed for the spinal raptors. Yeah, it's a good exercise though, right? And it's really good for your lower back. You like that video I sent you with a dog eating ass for the first time? <laughs> yeah. What's with these shit videos Brad sent me in the recent in the past couple of weeks? Yeah, a couple of shit saw, videos. You saw that? Yeah. <laughs> It's a Nobody you. responded to that. I think Jay might have. I, I think Brad should eat some ass on camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's get all these guys, pin him down and have chance. her sit on his face. Not a fucking chance. <laughs> we, we could somehow <laughs> give her an alcohol enemy because she could squirt in the Brad's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Leonard's fantasies are all coming out. Jameson. That's yeah, the only way exactly. I'll drink alcohol. Out of an asshole? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get. A, I'll bring a funnel so we can put them right in their ass, and we'll pour shots in their ass, <laughs> Leonard, and you can drink them all out. <laughs> you and Jason, you let you out. We're gonna pee first. All right. What else are you looking at over there, Kalora? So Hamburg liked this trip here. Yeah, he loved it. He's coming back in July. Is he? Yep. Yeah, he's hilarious. We're in a restaurant one time, and he said out loud, "Brad." I think you have a really big bladder. <laughs> and the waitress looked like, what the fuck is he talking about? Sounds just like Borat. Well, because he was peeing every fucking five minutes. But once you, when you're out drinking, once you break the seal, you're done. You're just going to keep pissing. Hmm. I told you to do a live video earlier because Jay was scratching at the walls. I'm surprised he hasn't called one of us knowing we're doing a podcast. No, he's got a... Again? Who got those things? You guys went and bought them? Yeah. Uh, I hope Jay puts those on. Could you fucking imagine? He'd have to be real banged up to do that. <laughs> Jay... <laughs> I think Lou's been offering big dough to put them on. <laughs> Great around. Imagine putting makeup on Jay. And... No, I don't imagine that, Leonard. No, thank you. <laughs> I don't ever think about putting makeup on Jay. <laughs> All right, kids. I'll see you around morning. What time you, you, you plan on coming back? Or, what, yeah, yeah, I'll be back. All right, pretty well, soon. Leave the door open. Yeah, what, what's, <laughs> yeah, what time do you think you'll be back? What time will you be home, young man? Oh, is it 10, 15? It's by midnight now? Yeah. Okay. Midnight. Midnight? I thought sooner, yeah. Um, all right, I'll just the phone. All right, maniacs. I'll see, you, I'll see you guys in the morning for the gym, and then it's uh, live shit tomorrow. Yeah. By the time you hear this, the party will be over, so. Yeah. No, I'll do this yeah. tomorrow morning. Oh, great, you wanna, great. You want to sing us a song going out, Leonard? Uh, I don't really uh We will oh, hold on. Hello, 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 hello. Party, y'all. Party, how does that sound go? She came to me in the dance. I asked her name. <laughs> Hello, boy. She said, Lola. Hello, LA, Lola. That's about a train. Well, it sounds yeah, like right? one. Is it? <laughs> one of the Spanish ones. How about this one? Lift off the J Masters tomorrow. Good night, Christina. Shit, Christina. Hey. <laughs> Lenny, if you care to know, the Celtics Cavs case tied at 56. What, halftime? Uh, I think it's in the third quarter. Mm, shit. Well, we Celtics, have, the Celtics haven't lost at home in the whole like playoffs. Right? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to hold you up. Right. No, I think we don't want to see it in the center. Here. Let's get it over with. Yeah, I said goodbye to Christina, so. All right. Yeah. Any other shout outs you want to do, Kalora? No. You want to say something to Christina? <laughs> she may have another birthday June 7th. Another? Yeah, she. there was two listings of her birthday, and there's another one June 7th, so... Is it 7th or 9th? 7th or 9th, yeah, something like that, but... Yeah, who gives a shit? Well, hey, 
Every day is her birthday to you. That's true. Did he come yeah. out? Yeah. But he's still leery. Probably has to use the bathroom. Kimbo has his own Instagram. Right, you going, are, you, are you staying home or are you going to lose? Come right over. No, I'm going home. Okay. Shh, shh. No, he's going to use the bathroom. I'm going to. I'll get you then. You just tell me when. Does he sleep in your room? Yeah. Yeah. Right in the foot of my bed. You like Nate's Boots, he girlfriend. sleeps next to you? No. You like Dumbo, wow. Dumbo. Oh, he was all over her. All right, we're done? No, I guess so. All right. Nice. See you in two weeks, I think, right? Yeah, two weeks. Yeah.